Back to the All right, ladies and friends. Hello, friend. I'm going to clean the screen away. Can I got this? this is a nasty looking, nasty looking screen. Maybe that's why the camera wasn't come, coming in blurry. That's what it was. Now we're looking. Now we're cooking with Crisco, huh? Now we're cooking with Crisco. All right, ladies and gentlemen, where are we? Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Which YouTube channel did I do? Uh, Gish the John Gishler channel. Okay. Well, that looks that looks better now. I don't know. Home painting for the day. I'll wait for some people to come in. I'll I'll wait for some people to join the stream before I. Uh, Before I start, if anyone has any suggestions of what I should make or what I what I should paint, I would love to hear some suggestions. Oh, actually, uh, heaven rules all. There we go. What's going on? How you doing, Kansas? I don't hear you if you are talking. I'm just putting in some tags for the stream just so that people can find the, uh, the video. Uh, how are you doing, Candace? Hello? Can you, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, you got music playing in the background. You might get the channel banned. Oh, okay, wait. Is it copyright music or? No, it's a bully music. Uh, It's like, no, it's not really copyrighted, is it? I don't think so, because I saw people oh. posting. They're not getting banned. And... Okay, so that's fine then. Yeah. How? So how's um, life treating you? Life is just um, life, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, life, life's life. Life. Yeah. life is life. Yeah. But wait, I have a question. Before I was trying to make like YouTube video, I actually bought music on iTunes and then put the music into my YouTube video. So am I going to get banned if I actually bought the music? Yeah, because, well, you don't get banned, but you get hit with a copyright strike. What they'll do is the company that owns the music will uh, censor the channel, will um, put ads on your channel to make money off of it. And then they'll have like a disclaimer on your video. Oh, this video has this music by this artist. And it it's it, it i don't know it doesn't really it doesn't really hurt the channel too much 
but there are some times where they get really nasty and they'll just delete the video from you. But I actually, but not always. I actually bought it. Even if you buy it, even if you own the music, if you use it in YouTube, YouTube will censor you. Yeah. Well, not that YouTube. Really the artist that owns the music censors you. It's not YouTube. It's the artist. Okay. My my. Let, well. Let's say you bought. Let's say you bought Tupac music, right? And you, and even though you own Tupac on your on your on your cell phone, you bought it, you downloaded it, and you have it playing in your video. YouTube notifies the Tupac, whoever owns Tupac and goes, "Oh, they, you know, they're they they're using your music," and then they'll send they'll flag your video. Oh, you're using the music, and then they'll make you pay. You they'll either put an ad on your screen or delete the video. Either way. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Um, so you're basically watching YouTube video to like instruct you how to paint. So you just follow. Well, I like I like watching Bob. Bob's a good painter. I think he's awesome. So I like to watch him while I paint. Um, I think he does a good job. Like right now, he he painted a really nice, wonderful picture. That's a yeah. That's a beautiful Forest. land. Yeah, so it's a, it's a forest or something. So, you know, I don't know what to paint. I'm I'm just thinking right now. Um, okay. I also have these things here. I have a canvas. But I also have these like little cutout frames. That oh, you okay. Paint to like on. help you with like okay, help you with like if you want to draw a heart, if you want to draw. Certain shapes. No, it's a frame for a picture. It's a picture frame. Oh, it's a frame so you for can paint the picture frame. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're you basically are painting the picture frame. Correct with your own design. Oh. Yeah. So I got that. Oh, I need a. I need a garbage. I also have this. I want to paint. It's a little box. A little box. I want to paint. And then I have this. It says keys. You put on oh, the wall nice. so you can hang your keys on the wall. Yeah. Very nice. So I have some stuff I want to paint. I haven't painted in like ages. I think last so night it was like, because I just like get distracted easily. I have like ADHD. So it's like when I was like, I think last time I painted was like when I was in high school and it was like art class. And I basically just like do it because it was like a project that we needed to like turn in and stuff. So, yeah. I haven't painted since high school myself. And my wife's paints. My wife loves to paint, so now I, I'm into painting now because she got me into it. Oh, nice! Oh, that's like a really good hobby. Maybe my maybe my future husband would want to dance with me because <laughs> I I love yeah, dancing. Oh yeah, maybe you like dancing. Yeah, I do. Give us a give us a dance. Give us a give us a tease. I was literally on, I don't know if you know this guy, Dave, from the News Unit channel yesterday. Do you know the News Unit? Okay. Do you know this yeah. channel? Yeah. He, yeah. He, yeah. There was a bunch of guys talking to me, telling me that I was, because I was on camera in the past. Like, I was, like, joining his stream. I was on camera, and I was wearing shirt like this, like, you know, showing off my shoulder, and it's kind of, like, teasing or whatever. Like, you know, I, I kind of look like I have, like, like boobs or whatever. And then they were like saying like, I was teasing guys, but then at the same time, I wasn't willing to just go for, just like, just be focused on, a, like at the same time I was being double-minded. Like I, I was teasing, but I wasn't actually wanting to go for anyone there. So they, they was just like, put me, they wasn't trying to like put me in my places, in, in my place, in my places by saying, so you are like teasing guys with like you know like you were you were, you, you you were scantily clad and you were trying to like show your boobs or whatever and then so now like I was very self now that I 
now that I don't want to be on camera, I mean, I mean, with you, I I can, but I don't want to go back to 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 that channel and be on camera because it's like they're, I don't know, they're just I saying gotcha. I was easy, yeah. It don't it don't really matter. I I I I don't care. Whatever you want to do is whatever you want to do, Candace. Uh, That's nice see. and um. See. Yeah, you know what? You know you, you can go ahead and draw. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you my 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 dancing. How you doing, Chris? Oh, morning, Krista. Hi, how are you? It's it's late night over here, but uh, morning, you guys. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm actually yeah. fasting, and it and it's I need something to distract me. So I'm like, my stomach's like, ah. So I, painting is actually. Really good. Yeah, because my my Muslim friend, my my Muslim housemate, is fasting too. It's Ramadan over here, so. That's correct. That. That's correct. Yeah. And you know what? I do find when I'm fasting, because I told you right, I have ADHD. And like depression issue and stuff like in the past and i do find it like when i'm when i'm fasting i'm feeling more comfortable with um like my brain is just happier when i'm fasting is it yeah i feel cleansed i feel i feel a lot lighter i feel i feel um Last night, man, I was just like high energy. I didn't eat for like 20 hours because I woke up at four to eat and then I, I didn't eat until like nine, ten o'clock at night. And I was just like just rocking and rolling, ready to go. Like I just it just feels like you you feel good. And then I last night when I broke the fast, I ate any I just ate fruits and vegetables. I ate just fruits and vegetables, all good fruits and vegetables, some fruit juice. And I feel good today, man. I I, I feel good. So hopefully I can keep the Keep that going, and uh, keep the keep the rhythm going. Oh, so you had high energies because you ate something? No, I had it be before I, I ate something. I had high energies. Oh, be yeah, okay. Because you feel like the beginning of the fast, you feel sluggish. Like like the past week, I've been kind of a little. Uh, uh, the fasting has been kicking my butt, but now I'm like now that I'm in like nine days in, it's like. You know, it's it's feeling good. Like I feel good, and I just want to show real quick. Just this is what I use. The paint that I use, I use acrylic. Okay. Multi surface. It's 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 just um. Setting. Basic paint. Basic. It's cheap. It's like a bot. It's like a dot. It's like two dollars a bottle. Yeah. And you get all different colors: red, brown, yellow, purple. Blue, blue, two dollars. I got all of them, and I just have a big, I just have a big bucket of them. That's what I wow, got. nice. Then I have some other colors here. These are a little more hot. I also have. I'm. I also gonna choose. I'm gonna try this brand, Craft Mart. This is real cheap. This was like a dollar. This is like fifty cents. It was oh, on wow. sale. Very nice. So I got that. It's so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that out and see how it works. I'm not like a big, I'm not like a big professional painter or anything. So, you know, I just use the cheap. I use just two, two, three dollar bottle paints. Like I'm not spending a, a lot of money on it. Now the wife bought a lot of stuff. We we bought some new supplies. I helped buy some new paint. Uh, but uh, it's not it's nothing simple. Now the brushes though. The brushes are pretty good quality. These are really high quality brushes. Yeah, it looks really like professional. Professional looking. Nice. It's a two inch wide wide brush. I also have these little spatula looking things that you put you 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 put the paint on the tip and you make you can make curve like mountains and, and different oh, designs. Okay. That's very pro like a very professional drawing kit. Well, the wife has everything. I mean, the wife also has stuff that you can make for glass, like you could paint on glass. 
Mm -hmm. By the way, you and your wife look so cute and compatible together. You guys are a man in the match made in heaven. You think so? Thank you. I appreciate that. I do. Because you look a little bit like a, a real, like, well, I know you're a Jew, but I'm saying, like, you look like you're really racially Jewish living in, living, like, from the Middle East. And she somewhat has, like, a Middle Eastern vibe. So There you go. <laughs> Crayola. Crayola, wow. Crayola has been ripping you guys off for years, right? Wife also has these things, markers. It's good that you can pick up pick up a hobby like it's nice pastels wow she must be very professional like she must been doing this for years let's see my wife told me i should paint like a flower like a garden scene like a flower scene like a, a yeah. nice happy Lots of different colors. Yeah. Can I invite in my friend John over here? Um, who's John? Uh, he's like uh, he he he's like a Facebook friend of mine, and he's like, um. Well, if you don't want, it's fine. But it's like he's oh, like. You can bring him in. Hey, Frank, what's going on, Frankie? Good, I'm doing all right. I'm see you doing some art. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's why I came in. Yeah, he's I'm trying to do. Be... I think I'm gonna do um um uh, what what they call it a uh, horizontal. I'm gonna do a portrait. Oh. Is it portrait or whatever it's called? I think it's portrait, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Landscape. So, I want to do, do a scene. The wife said something happy, a garden scene with lots of flowers, lots of happiness. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to figure something out in my head. You can bring whoever you want in, uh, Candace. So how's the fast going, um, uh, Frank? Well, it's going great. I always enjoy it. I, I, feel, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of energy. I actually, you know, um, I today I actually did not you know, eat too much because um, I miss, you know, the before fast, you know, the eating in the morning. I have a mm. hard time doing that. So yeah, I get up, I get up at like four o'clock just to get a little nibble in. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. The best yeah, I do is that, just it, drink it, lots it's of been water. messing me up. The sleep, yeah. actually the sleep, missing sleep has been worse for me than not eating. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing you have to get used to. But other than that, man, I'm good, man. I've been, yeah, it's a good time. Definitely, I needed it this morning. So, what are you what are you planning to paint right now? Yeah, some a little happy scene, something like a garden scene, something happy. Um, I have I always have a problem starting painting. I always have a problem starting, but once I get going. I, I kind of get into it, I get a flow. So it looks kind of like ridiculous at first. And I'm like, oh, what am I doing? And then after a while it starts coming in, you know? Oh, exactly. Hey, I'm gonna restart my computer. I'm gonna come back. Um, yeah, sure, do whatever, just... it's, it's open to anyone. Come in, come out whenever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna restart and then I'll, I'll come right back. All right, sounds good. So I'm going to start off with a little titanium white. That's what Bob always says. Start your canvas off with a little titanium. So we're going to do the titanium white.
Well, this brush is not, this brush has seen happier days, huh? This brush is not happy at all. Doesn't look too happy. I don't know, this brush doesn't look too, oh, there's my boy, Sam, my buddy, Sammy. What's going on, Sammy? Happy, 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 joy, joy. Okay, Hamodi. Okay, let's have a Hamodi. Happy, happy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. What is that called? What is that called? Are you, no, are you a Ren and Stimpy fan? You're not a Ren and Stimpy fan? I am not a Ren and Stimpy fan. I, I've seen it in the past, but I'm not a big fan. Ah, uh, yeah, it's uh, just something from my past that I still remember. So you're looking for a happy, happy theme. Yeah, like com the coming of the Messiah, something happy. Hey, do that. Why don't you do that uh, a Jerusalem uh, skyline kind of, you know, with the temple descending, you know, that kind of. Can you do something that ornate? Like I just paint out the Dome of the Rock and uh, put it in the temple instead, you know? Oy, but you're going to offend your... I'm going to get in trouble with my Muslim friends for saying that. Oy, I, I, definitely you are. Hey, but uh, but uh, is, you know somebody you know what you know what someone once told me you could have you could have the temple and the and the dome and the rock in the same location but the problem is it's right smack in the middle of the location you you can't have two I mean unless you unless you build the temple or literally around the, the the dome and then have the dome in the middle but then you can't have the the the, the platform for the sacrifice so I, I don't understand how it works. Uh, it's, uh, it's really not up to us to uh, make those decisions or. God. It's all speculation. It's, it's, really all, it's all in the air. It's speculation. You know? uh, make those decisions. Oh, it's, it's, is it, is it uh, Candice? Candice from Malaysia. Oh, how you doing? Did I talk to you before? I think I did. Sam. Yeah, we, yeah Sam. We talked before. Plenty. We talked over a very long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was like last September. Probably, yeah. We were talking uh, about all sorts of religious subjects, yeah. Wow, how have you been? I'm okay. I'm with my boy, and we're, uh, yeah, uh, talking about uh, what's about to come, you know. It's about to arrive. Are, yeah, we are in some perilous time. Right. Well, everybody feels it. Everybody knows it. Anyone that uh, has some sensitivity doesn't have to be super. Uh, a religious. I was talking to my next door neighbor, man, and he's like yeah. telling me, you know, he he feels like something big is going to happen. And he's is he religious? Is he a believer? Hey, they're uh, he's, he's, a, he's a he's a believer in the, from the Christian mm -hmm. side of things. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, and there are many things that's happening in China too. Like the other day, there was, I think a few weeks ago, there was a plane crash from, it's called East 10 Airlines from. Oh, Korea. yeah, the plane that went straight down into the mountains and lost all of its, uh, yeah, aeronautic. What is it? Uh, not aeronautic, it's uh, aerodynamic. All, all the mechanics just uh, clunked out completely and it, it, it nosed that straight into the mountains. Yeah, and you know Boeing has been having a lot of plane crashes for the past three years. I think starting from the seven thirty seven Max in uh, Indonesia and Ethiopia. And right, it is that model. It's it is that it was that model, the seven thirty seven. Well, well, well. The first two crashes in two thousand eighteen and two thousand nineteen was Max thirty seven thirty oh. seven Max eight. Okay. But, yeah, but the but the one like that happened last year. It's it was a Indo in Indonesia called Sriwijaya Air. It was it was seven is it seven forty seven? But not uh, not the max one. But this one, the China one, is also not the max one. Yeah, it was a, yeah max the seven thirty seven. Yeah, it could be it could be a, a, just a, again there's software uh, a glitches and problems that cause that uh, kind of uh, failure. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it could be other things as well. All things are all sorts of things are happening. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of talk now. It sounds hokey, but it's coming from uh, different sources, and they're talking about a you know outer planetary uh, sort of uh, a effects and influences on our planet, uh, and we're you know we're talking about the uh, planet X and 
the uh, nemesis, uh, uh, you know, secondary son, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, there's, uh, you know, people are familiar with this uh, concept that uh, there's a, a binary sun and a binary solar system that intersects with our solar system over uh, thousands of years. And it's been it's been uh, photographed that there's a you know and now they're talking more about it on Infowars and on other channels as as though they know something and why are all of a sudden are they bringing this up again that's it kind of sparking my curiosity you know they know something and they're hinting at it uh, also what you're saying is there is a sorry because you know that there were some words that I didn't catch so a luminary. No, bin it's, it's a binary solar system. We, ha we have, in the, in, the, in the universe, in the galaxy, they've, uh, you know, the astronomers and the scientists have documented this, that there are solar systems that have two suns in them, sometimes at the same time, you know, but sometimes uh, they, they intersect with one another over long periods of time. And uh, so this is uh, what's speculated to be, uh, you know, in our solar system, that we have a secondary sun. It's called a, you know, people have called it Planet X or Nibiru or Nemesis. And there are allusions to it in the uh, Zohar, in the Jewish Kabbalah. And also in your tra Christian traditions, they call it uh, Wormwood in, in Revelations. Yeah. And I, don't, I, I, and I don't know. I don't know if in the Islamic tradition, do they have uh, uh, this kind of uh, hidden uh, sort of, uh, what's the word, uh, esoteric uh, knowledge of a binary solar system with star uh, planet? They're actually uh, solar cores. They're dead cores of, of dead suns that have a ma that and other things that all, they, it, they gather all sorts of crazy, like moons and, dead uh, cores of suns, wacky stuff, a lot, you know, and it's been, it's uh, been alluded to in, uh, in, in uh, the Jewish mystical uh, school and in, in your uh, Christian revelations. I don't know if they have this in uh, Islam. Do they have this in, in Islam, Frank, that there's something uh, that's supposed to happen that's going to be like um, sort of uh, like something a uh, stellar. I would say it's a stellar phenomenon. Something in the heavens, uh, you know, that'll signal uh, this paradigm shift that we're going into. Is there something like that in Islam? Um, there's esoteric things. Um, there's books that you can read on that. Um, there's different opinions about, you know, like like stars for example like it, like the planets they actually called them by their prophet's name instead uh -huh. of saturn you know they would say planet musa or planet abraham like they they will even though the the celestial bodies were called by their kind of pagan names right a lot of the scholars will substitute that and put the prophet's names on it Oh, okay. And so, uh, but other than, you know, revelations and things like that, I'm not too familiar with it. I'm sure there's books on it. There's there's guys like Ibn Arabi. Well, I've been, I've, been, I've been following yeah. a lot of, uh, I've been following a lot of avid uh, observers and, uh, you know, astronomers that went according to their Christian traditions. And, you know, there's um, a a long-held conspiracy theory that the Vatican has been uh, a, looking for this uh, a binary so, uh, st solar system, this binary sun, if for the longest time because they know it will signal a paradigm shift in history. Okay, so they, they built a, 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 a telescope in uh, Arizona, in the middle of the desert in, of Arizona, and they called it Lucifer, the Lucifer Telescope. And uh, it's and throughout the ages, through, uh, it's been centuries that they've been uh, concerned about this because there's mention of it in in our Jewish mystical uh, uh, schools, 
uh, in Kabbalah, in uh, the Zohar, and it's also in uh, the book of Revelation that uh, there's a, a destroyer, it goes by the name of Worm, which it, it, it goes back to ancient, ancient traditions and ancient records that were kept for a very long time. And uh, so now there's more and more talk of it, and who knows? It could be the uh, the catalyst. Remember, we used that word there, John. Catalyst. That could be. Oh yeah. Word. What did you say? What did you that, that sky is looking pretty nice. I'm actually yeah. enjoying watching this. I'm trying. Like I said in the beginning, no, no, it doesn't really look good. like much, but it comes out. I, it comes I out rather, of the end. I, you know, this is really good. It kind of motivates me to start painting. Let me get. Let me see if I can find my canvas. I'm going to start doing something. You know, you could you could make that uh, an ocean uh, kind of like a uh, scene. Mm -hmm. it, it, with, with what you uh, it put there as the base on the on the bottom, make that more like a, make it like an ocean landscape. It, it, it's beginning to look like an ocean landscape to me. Make you know, you could put like boats or. Uh, or uh, something like an island. The thing is, I have to feel it. That, that's that's the point. It looks it looked like one thing right now, but in the, in a, it, at the, towards the end, it's going to look something different. It, it, okay. I, I get that feeling too. It's an ocean. It may become an ocean landscape. Ocean landscape, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you are you heading out there, Candice? You're dressed up like you're uh, ready to head out for on a date or something. I was dancing. I, I had two dancing class. I danced ah. Turkey, uh, 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 Rumba. Ah, that's why you're all dressed up. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Have you ever watched people dancing Rumba? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I really wanted to. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm like too old for like competition and stuff. Like uh -huh. a lot of kids would do like competitions and um at like you know in it when when they're teenagers or when they're in their early 20s but i'm old already but i'm really passionate when it comes to uh what uh, i really have a passion for for dancing so. awesome everybody needs to do something to occupy their time with the sam yeah. was a little bit of a dancer in it when he was younger no no oh, yes that's good no 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 i'm a, I'm a tennis player I, I'm, I'm not a dancer I'm a type of dance, isn't it? Any, 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 any dance dance. I did was headbanging in in like the yeah, Irish. Yeah, today, like uh -huh. my, my dance teach teacher, he was so muscular. Like because I, I have a new new dance instructor today, and honestly, like I was really um let me wait, let me show you his 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 body. This is his body. Oh, hello. That's like Bruce Lee right there. <laughs> yeah. So. Today when I'm dancing with her, I, I I don't know where to look at like I don't know where where to look at him because I don't want to have eye contact. And he was just like, "Well, if 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 you feel shy, you can just look at my forehead." And I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna look." At him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, was, uh, I, I never took any professional dancing lessons. The only times that I danced was with my friends in the uh, in the army on the weekends. We used to go into town, and uh, it was like a what was it called? The Green Goose. It was like an Irish style pub, and they used to play headbanging music, and they had a dance floor, and we just like you know moshing and headbanging. I was into that. I was like crazy. I was you know, that's the only kind of dancing I ever did. But yeah, you know. yeah. Oh, I mean like street dance. dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, there is a dance yeah. studio somewhere. Um, but I just never approached it. Mm -hmm. So Frank, um, you are a Muslim, right? Uh, correct. So were you born and raised a Muslim or did you kind no, of- No, no, I was born and raised not giving a crap about anything. <laughs> yeah. um, Catholic. Um, and then 23 years ago, I converted. Uh, and you converted to uh, Sufism, right? No, I really converted into Islam because it was, I, I had like basic knowledge. I think a couple of years later, I got into an order. I got more into it. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So I got more into it and um, been in the orders ever since for more than 20 years. So, like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I've been, in, I've been enjoying it. Yeah. As long as it's fulfilling for you. So, no, I yeah, hear a little bit of Muslim country so mm -hmm. i recognize your because 
as soon as you went online, I recognized your Muslim hat. And oh, like, this thing, this thing has. is something that I got. Um, that I wear that in Morocco. It's a fez. Yeah, it's a fez. I uh, just like it. You know, it's not it's not so so much a religious thing, but more as a um, just a nice headgear. <laughs> yeah. no, I thought it was a yeah. Muslim. I thought it was a Muslim hat. Yeah, it is. It is. It's something that they used to wear a lot of places, but you know, as mo you know, they became a little bit more modern. So, like a lot of places, like in Turkey and Egypt, they became banned. Like people couldn't wear them anymore because oh, they wanted okay. to modernize. So this was looked as backwards. And um, some old people still wear it, but it's kind of uncommon. You know, so I, guess I, I try to bring it back. I, I was in Morocco for about a, a few weeks with uh, uh, friends. We did a, a road trip uh, kind of uh, tour of uh, Morocco. And one, is, one of them uh, was Moroccan, and he had uh, f you know, his uh, roots there, his family roots. And it was luckily for us, he spoke fluent uh, Arabic uh, with the Moroccan dialect. So we got along really easy in Morocco, wherever we went, wherever we went, you know, uh, it's, uh, it was like a big, big uh, plus that uh, we could, we had somebody that could speak the language and they, they were very welcoming. They were very nice. Mm -hmm. to yeah. I heard in Morocco and one of the reasons why it's actually, it's a, it's a good hotspot for surfers. Right. Yeah, big surfing community there. Um, we, we went to the Atlantic. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, it was interesting. It was the first time, the first, well, it, I was in England and in Ireland, but it was the first time I actually saw the Atlantic from the other side of the, uh, the globe. And instead of the American side, I saw it from the African and European <laughs> side on, on, in Morocco. How is so, that? How, how was it? It was incredible. It was it, Morocco is a beautiful country, a very beautiful. Country. That's what I might do. Why don't I? I'll do a Moroccan uh, land uh, water sea yeah. something. But there surfers, you go. Yeah. Frank, Frank and the fans like surfing on the <laughs> surfing goofy Sufis. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we went to the mountains. We went. To, we saw all the different uh, terrains. Different. We. We covered so much ground when we were in Morocco over three weeks. We were constantly driving from location to location, from site to site. We saw the the uh, the mountains, the Atlas Mountains. We went to uh, the deserts, the Sahara. We went to uh, the the big cities, Casablanca and uh, the uh, the uh, Rabat and uh, 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 Marrakesh, and we we toured the whole country, and it was. Very, very, uh, I'd say, thr thrilling. It was, it was like, a, a, like an adventure, a real big time adventure. Yeah, That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. You know, God women on hala. Yeah, God it was. Women, yeah, it was, it was, it, Africa. It felt like Africa. It's a mix of. It's a blend of Europe and Africa there. And uh, the culture is a, it, you know, it's a, it's so it's if you if you're like if you have a taste like you uh, you know they call them culture vultures, people mm -hmm. that eat up culture that like to enjoy uh, different cultures, you know, and if you have if you have the benefit and the uh, uh, and the advantage of having a local or somebody that uh, is familiar with the language and the culture, it's a big it's a big uh, plus because luckily the guy that we, was with us. Is a friend of my. Uh, it was a relative of mine, a friend of a relative of mine, and they planned this trip out and they invited me along. They said, come, "Join us, come uh, join us," and uh, I tagged along. And uh, it was a big, big, uh, uh, like a, I'd say, like a, a bucket list, a notch on my belt. It was something I, I was looking to do. Morocco was one of my targets that I wanted to go see uh, a country like uh, in. Uh, the Maghreb, the in uh, north northern Africa. Mm -hmm. So that nice. that I got that I kind of checked that off, and I got to do that. That was it. Did, did you take pictures? Oh my God, I have tons of pictures. When we, we were in the sand dunes of the Sahara, the Sahara in the uh, eastern northeastern uh, corner of of uh, Morocco, and I went in that. I, I started climbing up the dunes and everything, and you see like these uh, desert landscapes straight out of the, you know, a Lawrence of Arabia, <laughs> or, 
or uh, you know all the all the scenes you would assume to to see in the movies about Arabia or anything like that. It's like you you can uh, see uh, like the the camel caravans, uh, you know, daydreaming about it, or you know, with the palm trees everywhere, and you have uh, there was uh, like an oasis. It, it was just pure, uh, sort of like Sahara uh, kind of uh, a, you know, a imagery going on there. But I, I was climbing the dunes to take pictures, and all of a sudden you have these, uh, you know, these uh, dirt bike, a uh, dirt bikes, and 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 are, you know what do you call those? The four wheel, the the uh, off roaders, off -roaders. roaders, and they're flying through the air over the dunes, and I'm like, holy shit, where did that come from? All of a sudden, I'm standing around taking pictures, and all of a sudden, whew, a motorcycle is flying over uh, the dunes, and I was like, "Where the hell did they?" Then they were like Americans. They were Americans. They're uh, you know on a vacation, recreationally, uh, a, riding around the, on the uh, dunes over there. I, I can find a picture for you, and uh, what I'm talking to you about in uh, I don't have it on my la on my uh, computer. I have it on disc, but uh, the pictures I took. But uh, a let's see if I could find it. Morocco, a Morocco, Israel and Morocco actually have very good relations now. We have a, a good uh, diplomatic relations and uh, economic relations with Morocco. A desert dunes. Desert sand dudes, here it is. Yeah. Uh, oh, and and oh, I see the motorcyclists there also. I guess it's a like a uh, like the surfing. It's also a prime location for uh, off roading. Here it is. This is what I'm. Uh, yeah, this is exactly it. El Chebi. I don't know how if I'm pronouncing it correctly. That's where I was. Here, one second, I'll show you. El Chebi. Uh, one second. Uh, share screen vi slides. Uh, Google Slides, my computer. Upload file. Uh, downloads. Where is it? Oh, it's like, why isn't it showing up? Wait a minute, I'll just do share screen. I don't know. I don't know if you could do slides. No, I can't. It's not letting me share it. Uh, yeah, you, just, you just have to do a regular share screen. Yeah. Okay, one sec. Oh, there one you minute. are. I see you now. Yeah, one, one minute, one minute, one minute. It's in my, I saved it to my uh, documents to download. Here it is. One second. This is, this is exactly the type of picture I was taking. Why isn't it popping up? There it is. Can you see that? Oh yeah! Uh, there you that, go. I was that, climbing up. That I was climbing. Looks, yeah. Wow, that almost looks unreal. Yeah, it is. It was a yeah. It was spectacular. The, the, yeah. the, and a photographer loves this because of the lighting, the shadow, and the yeah. and the highlights and the different. Yeah, it looks like a professional picture. Basically. It is. Well, you can't. You can't. Oh. You can't. Well, you can't miss when you're there. You can't miss but take a good professional picture because it's just yeah, like that looks good. It's like God's art right there. It's natural nature's art right there for you. If you want to talk about landscapes and designs and, and lighting and color, it was spectacular. It was uh, mesmerizing. But then all of a sudden, you know, I'm like uh, climbing up these dunes and all of a sudden a, a motor, like a, an off-road motorcycle flies over the dunes right in front of me. It was like, oh, and I started talking to those guys. Uh, you know, they, they told me they were Americans, whatever. Nice. It was good. It was fun, yeah. That looks awesome. Well, where did Candace go? Maybe she went to change. She was uh, cha changing out of her uh, costume, her dancing costume. <laughs> Dance clothes. Dance clothes. Anyway, you know, if you want to get back into this, I'm telling you, there there are palatable signs now that are beyond a you know doubt. I mean, we've been talking for years, but now it's just becoming so obvious that something is about to happen, something big, 
you know, and it, it, there are signs that from around the world that it's already happening because if we talked about it now, people are paying attention uh, on, uh, as well on the uh, all the news channels and on the uh, blogs and on the uh, you know uh, podcasts. Uh, and countries are going into the, uh, third world countries and developing countries are now having food riots. Uh, just like what happened uh, during the uh, Arab Spring. But now it's uh, Sri Lanka and Peru and uh, a few other countries uh, are having food riots now. It's not just, bec it's not just uh, what happened. Uh, what, what, you remember what uh, sparked the Arab Spring? It was the uh, incident in Tunisia, right, when a guy immolated himself. It was like a fruit stand uh, owner that uh lost his business or didn't have any uh, means of uh yeah couldn't feed his family and um supposedly he was having yeah and, and it's a lot of places i think are having food shortages and and i i, I you know i i don't really feel that it's shortages i think it's it's, it's artificial a lot of corruption yeah it was induced corruption going but on yeah. There's a lot of problems going on as far as distributing, but it's also there's a lot of factors into it. But um, yeah, yeah, I, there's, I don't there's, know too much about it, but I, I know some of it. There's an agenda. There's, there's, there's an agenda. There's a variables there. Yeah, there's easy, Sam, easy, Sammy. We are on YouTube. Easy, easy, boy. Easy, sell <laughs> down, Sparky. What did I say? It's not, it's not forbidden. It's forbidden. <laughs> It's I know you want to say it. I know you want to. <laughs> I'm trying to find a canvas because I know I have a canvas somewhere, and I'm trying to get something. You gonna get something going, Frank? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Here we go. Remember, it's a, in in German, it's verboten, and in Arabic, it's haram, and in English, it's forbidden. What is that? That looks like a scimitar you got there. What is that? Like a, you can hack somebody. Yeah, I, with that. You use this for painting. You put you you make the paint. And you put it just along the edge, and then you can do like little, little different types of designs. Yeah! Wow. Well, your clouds are, are getting your your clouds are improving. Your clouds look uh, more. Oh yeah, those clouds are good, right? Those are, na yeah. those are nasty looking clouds. Oh yeah. They're more convincing. I'm going to dry a little bit because that's going to be my background. Uh huh. Then I'm going to do a little more blending. I like to do layers. I'm, I'm a layer type of guy. Because I get in there and I start mixing and I start doing layers when it's not dry and I it looks like mud, you know I'm a mud uh, mixer as Bob would say. Bob Ross would say you become a a, a, a mud mix a, a mud mix or whatever he uses. So I just let it dry for a few minutes and then I come in and make a mountain. So uh -huh. so in 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 the um, so Sam, let me ask you, in Morocco, can you like see mountains in the background? Of oh wow! The, in, in oh, forget about it. Yeah, we went uh, to Tobruk, and we went in the north. Uh, well, and what I'm going to do is I'm you can see Gibraltar. You can see Gibraltar. Yeah, you can see Gibraltar in the uh, in the uh, horizon on the horizon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint Gibraltar, the the Straits of Gibraltar. I'm going to paint that in the background, and then I'm going to have I'm going to have you and Frankie doing like surfing here I'm gonna <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> well, you have to have I'm a gonna Frank, I'm going to do you Frankie have to on the surfboard. And I'm gonna have you on the beach, Sam, with a couple of shikses, having a good time. <laughs> Make sure that you know, it's throwing throwing a brunette as well, a br a brunette. Throwing a brunette, a blonde and a brunette. All right, fine. That's awesome. I got. You know what? I have to um, start getting equipment because I put it in the garage, and it looks like um, my daughter. She's a, she also does this stuff. Oh um, yeah. So yeah. But That's we awesome. have to do a hangout doing this because I want to do this. This is why I came because I want to do something. Like I, I all I do is I throw Bob up on the TV. I I have yeah. um, internet TV, and mm -hmm. and there's a channel, the Bob Ross channel, and all they do is play Bob Ross videos. So I just watch it for nice. inspiration, and I just you know I'm I'm here doing my thing, practicing. You know, see right. he's, he's over there mixing right now. So you know he's. he's what kind he's of what kind of paint? Using oil or he's using our, our, our acrylic? He use I think he uses oil paint, so it's a little different the technique. I yeah, use, I can't use oil. I, I, I yeah, like I'm oil. a newbie. I I yeah. use basic acrylic yeah. paint. Yeah, I use acrylic. This is about a dollar, two dollars a bottle. Okay. 
the, the basic stuff, nothing serious, nothing special. Mm -hmm. There, there is professional acrylic paint that you can get like a bottle of this for like twenty five bucks. But mm -hmm. why, why would I spend twenty five bucks? No, on a that's too much money. I just go to five below, and um, right, five below, boom. Yeah, five below. That they got acrylic, and even the dollar store sometimes they have acrylic. Or the or um or uh, Michaels. Or Michaels, yeah. But me and the wife, we, do, we, me and the wife, we went out to uh, Saratoga Springs uh, the uh, last mm -hmm. week, and, and Michaels had a big That's blowout, fifty percent yeah. sale. We just bought a bunch of bunch of stuff. No, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I, definitely, uh, just hit me up when you're going to do the hangout. I I get my stand, and I'll start doing the same. Awesome. I want to definitely do something like that. This is the one the wife's current. The wife's currently working on this one. It's oh, of, nice. She's got to fill in the person, but it's someone looking out on the beach. It almost reminds me of the screen. Yeah. Screen. Yeah, yeah. The screen. Uh, uh, what's Van Gogh? Oh, yeah. oh Van Gogh. Yeah. Awesome. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. Uh. Okay, so, Sam, what do you think? Oh, oh nice. that's a really nice painting. You painted that? I love the, the, the wife made the wife made the La Baba the, the, the That's Rebbe. nice. Wow, it's very nice. like vivid. So Sam, um, Sam. Um, yeah, that, yeah. Go ahead, kids. Uh, what is the big like? You were talking about like you feel like there's there's gonna be a big thing that's gonna happen. Yeah. Like your friend said that. Like so. So what type of thing do you think it would happen? And do you think it's gonna be something from the Torah? Yeah, yeah uh, from the prophets. It's uh, going to be, we're on the edge of Messianic Revelation very soon. Nice. Yeah. That's probably my best painting I made. That looks really and, nice. And the, and the really water looks it. so, it looks like realistic water. The trees look so nice. And mountains in the background, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. That looks gorgeous. Kudos to your no, wife. It's Brooklyn and Libya. No, no I, I was mistaken. It's not to Brook. It was a, a different town uh, that we were in the north that we saw Gibraltar from there. It was not oh, yeah. Tangier, Tangier, I think it was Tangier. Tangier, okay, Tangier, Tangier. yeah. Tangier. I, I wasn't in Tobruk. Tobruk is in Libya. I wouldn't be able to get to Tobruk, Libya. But we were all over uh, Morocco that it uh, was like, I, it was a while ago. It was before I got married. So it was like uh, 13 years ago, approximately. I need see. I need a pitch. I'm gonna look up a picture of Gibraltar because I need to see what is on the other side. Oh, uh, okay. G How do you spell Gibraltar? G I B R A L T A R. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Gibraltar from Morocco. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can throw this up on the TV. Oh, I can put this on the TV and paint it from the TV. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, how do I put this on the TV? Share screen. Is supposed to be, yeah, my phone's supposed to be able to beep it to the to the TV. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to be on the net. I think I have to be on the home network. Okay, I'm on the home network. Uh huh. Uh, how do I beep it? How do I sh do it? Shoot. This is what I should paint, Sam. What do you think? Show me. Let me show you. Yeah, I'll, well, let's see if I can freaking get my phone to rotate here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. It's kind of that. Yeah. It, it, it'll fit. It, it, have like, and then I'll have like a beach. I can put in a beach on this side. And then ha and have Frankie surfing and you with a couple. Of, oh no, uh, no! Uh, try to make, try to make it uh, aesthetic, and just do like you, that. Do you? Don't fuck it up. Don't make it chi like uh, childish. Make it a good portrait you could put up on your wall. Not a portrait, a good landscape you could put up on your wall. No, that that previous one was more like uh, uh, that one. You see, uh, the uh, in the in the mid ground. It's uh, it's got like that haze, and it's it can blend into the the the, the canvas that you already have now with what with your uh, base and your background, where it's kind of like subtle. You know, it's it, when if you make something subtle, and not too bold, 
like the the uh, the lighting you have there for that kind of uh, uh, picture photo that you have there. Try to make it subtle. Try to uh, create uh, the uh, the mountain in the mid ground and 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 f and ha have it like a faded it fade into it like in a cloudy. Yeah, it's cloudy. You see, it's cloudy and hazy like that. And you already have the 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 the, the mountain, the uh, the uh, the clouds and the the. The kind of like the subtle and the sort of like not too dark. It's light, the the blue back backdrop you have there. So it it fits in perfectly. If you put if you put in uh, that scene in in a in a sort of a hazy, cloudy, subtle kind of like a airy. I'd say like a, yeah, celestial. Like it's the sky. It's hang. Make it hanging in, like it's. Hang like it's floating in the sky, you know. That's like that's that would make a, a nice serene kind of uh, a painting to put up on your wall. Because when it's too bold and when it's too like uh, opaque, try to make it translucent. You know, if it's translucent, you know how to do. You, you already made uh, translucent clouds. Can you make a translucent uh, mountain in the in that? Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to zap it to my uh, my TV. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, talk to my boy because he's about to. Oh yeah, yeah. Take uh, take it easy, Sammy. Take it easy. No, no. I'll be nice around. Meeting. I'm gonna mute. Yeah, nice, nice meeting you, Sam. No, I'm just muting. I just gotta check up on him. I see. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll be back. Oh, no problem. Okay. There's a way to there's a way to do it, and I don't know how to private share. Is it private share? What, what do I do here? Agree, allow, allow. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm actually going to get some art equipment today. It kind of motivated and inspired me. To oh, man. Thank you. I like that. I like hearing that. I like doing the art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know I, what people, I wanted... people say when you do art, it uses the other side of your brain that you normally don't use, and it helps you know keep your brain mm -hmm. young. So yeah, you yeah, know. it's a different type of thinking and creating because you know my job is so analytic, and um, you definitely need that outlet. I was always an admirer of artists and people who create things, you know, visually. But you know, I never had the discipline for it. But you know what? It's fun to do. I hear you exactly. Now mm -hmm. I'm getting into it too. I always wanted to do it too. Mm -hmm. Looking. These are pretty. These are pretty good too. These come in little tubes. Arts, arts, uh, arts, uh, I get uh, artsia. I don't know how to say it, but it came in a big box, like 40 of these tubes. And I got, I think the wife says she paid like 20 bucks, and it's just like basic acrylic colors. They come in, oh wow, they come in all different types of colors, and it's really cool. easy. You just you just squirt it out. I have this, this like little focaccia piece of yeah. trash here that I use, and I just plop it in and. Mm -hmm. And I just get going. I mean, I don't really need much room. I just do a little bit, and then I wash it off, and then I come back with another color. I'm I'm not good at like oh knowing what colors go where. Like I just do one color at a time. That's how mm -hmm. I do it. Nice. Um. Man, look at that mount. Look at what look at that mountain in the background. That wow, Bob, that the, Bob's doing. Just, that's a crazy looking mountain, right? That's crazy. Here. That's a that's a mountain. That stupid glare from the light pisses me off that it's like that. But look at that mountain right there. That is something. Man. 
That's, now that's what that's what the um, Sammy wants me to do. He wants me to make a mountain like this, the Straits mm -hmm. of Gibraltar, right there. Like boom. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I see it. So what I got, what I do, because I got it from Bob, what I do is I make one dark shade and I make a light shade. So I take a black and the brown, and that's going to be my dark highlight for when I make the mountain. And then I'm going to take a the, the gray, and I'm going to take a gray, and, and then that's going to be my light. So when I, mm -hmm. when I plop in that hill, that mountain, it's gonna have that I'm gonna come back in, make a little highlight, make a little, make a little dark highlight, make a little light, light, whatever you wanna call it. Mm -hmm. He's got a big one. Look at that. Sometimes I forget how big this thing is that he's carrying, oh, yeah. uh, Bob Ross. It's crazy. I don't know. They had one at that, at one of those at Michael's, and I was like, the wife wanted to buy. It. I'm like, you're gonna really have like this big giant. <laughs> yeah, he's like, your arm's gonna be tired. <laughs> he's like, this is like, <laughs> he's got his yeah. technique down. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Holy crap! It's like a musician. Like a, he's like playing music, bro. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy that he's, he can do all that. Yeah. You know, a lot, of, like, in the graffiti world, like, I used to, you know, do graffiti, graffiti art. And, you know, guys used to, like, spray paint his face, like, on um, their artwork. So he's, like, a... He's almost like a big meme in, in, in the graffiti world. Hey there, uh, John. Look, at uh, Bob Ross is doing something in the same kind of uh, look, the same theme. I was just I was just telling Frank the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But now uh, he's yeah. putting trees on it. So yeah, the way he does his trees is amazing. Like the way this technique, so how he does these uh, long red, these long uh, evergreen trees. It's just him doing this. All of a sudden, these trees pop up. It's freaking awesome. What's what's sad is it, it, what's sad about it is that Bob is not using like these big def, these like difficult techniques that no, no one can do. He's using basic stuff, you know. Yeah, um, he, like to make them look like bushes. All he has to do is just tap it, yeah, and all of a sudden you start like I don't know. It's it's great. It's so simple too, like the way he does it. It's all about technique. Yeah, it's like our flag, you know. It's all about your technique. Definitely. So uh, a, my ex came to pick up my boy, so that's uh, I had to uh, say goodbye, and uh, a, he'll be he'll be coming back again uh, next week. Nice. How do you do those uh, effects, uh, a Frank? What do you get um, them? They're snap. They're a uh, snap. Um what they call a snapchat type of thing um it's it's uh you could get it for free and i can wait yeah. it, they, they, yeah, it's they, called they, snap camera snap camera yeah snap camera you just download it and um all right yeah that's it and you can play with it yeah it, it's it becomes addictive because people put new things and you can also create your own you know all right, I'm looking for it. Yeah, you can also create your own. So it's a, it's a pretty cool thing to do. And it just a uh, is a it's a it's a it's a sort of like a feet an add-on to your camera that just 
Well, you could do it. Yeah, I, I think you could do it. I, I don't know if you could do it on your phone. I did it on my laptop. Um, and that's where I'm at. But I'm sure you could do it on, on your phone. All right. I, uh, yeah, it's snap, uh, snap uh, camera. I'm trying to download it now. Yeah. You could do Manny Cam. You can also do Manny Cam. Manny Cam's a popular one. Manny Cam, X Split, Snapchat, they, they all have, the, they basically all do the same thing. I'm going to stick with the blue light because it'll keep me awake. <laughs> but how's that mountain coming out looking? Is that looking all right? Yeah, that's good. It looks like an island. Yeah, yeah, like an island in the background. Yeah. Or mid ground, in the mid ground. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Kevin. Is that Candace? Candace, what you got on? Candace. You, got, you got on your dancing dress or you got no <laughs> You More got your dancing. dancing shoes. We're gonna go out dancing. <laughs> yeah, I can't dance for crap. Yeah, I have no yeah. rhythm whatsoever. You got your dancing like shoes, boy. Did He's all, he went all fancy looking, you know. <laughs> dance. And all I'm doing is I'm taking the edge of the of the blade. See how mm -hmm. it is? Just just no, not on one side. It's plain on the other side. I got it just to roll in the tip, just to just the tip, like the guys say, just the tip. Just lightly, you just manipulate, just gentle. You don't, it, you don't, you don't just, you know, jam it in. You know, you gotta be easy. You know, you it's kind of like painting's kind of like sex a little bit. Uh, just the tip, take it easy. Sex is an art. There's an art to sex. No, you're right. There's an art to sex. It's not just. There's an yeah. art to there's sex. There's a sex to ships. art. There's a sex, sex to, to art. art too. Yeah, sex to art. Yeah, an art to sex. Well, creation is creation. Yeah, you know that. Uh, it's you're also. Creating. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get that going. That little mountain tip right there. So yeah, keep it, keep it, keep it subtle. You know, you just uh, keep it trans. Yeah. yeah. And then it'll just merge into the painting. It's like. Yeah. You'll have to. You have to create a uh, like a haze a around the uh, the mountain. Yeah, I, I, I think right now it looks like he's bringing it out and then soon he's going to just kind of cover it as time goes on. Mm -hmm. um, you have to come in with white paint and just like mm -hmm. plop it on and then you take like a nice edge of the of the knife and you kind of like right cut into it kind of and then you spread up and down with a brush and mm -hmm. it makes like a hazing effect. There was this artist that um, had a canvas, right? Put a canvas up, took a flamethrower, and just burned the crap out of it. <laughs> Supposedly that was art. Yeah, my, uh, that uh, the the uh, a Jackson Pollock type of. Uh... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's sort of like that. There was another guy that just painted white paintings. Just white. It was just a white. Now it's gotten to the point. It's so it's so, it's, so, it's so like not even. You can't even, <laughs> it's, you can't, you can't even excuse it as as art. It's just like a gimmick. No, it's it, it, it's, it's the whole thing of anti art. Yeah, <laughs> anti art. Right. Supposedly that's very artistic. <laughs> No. There was a guy, and this is this is no joke. I'm not even joking. Um, did a invisible statue, and he sold it for seventy five thousand dollars. Somebody bought the invisible statue, and not only that invisible statue, that invisible statue actually um, was brought to um, Wall Street. So what they did was they just put a, a tape, a circle around it. Right? Uh huh. Have it for display. Well, it's so retarded. <laughs> it's extremely retarded. But it is almost like what? NFTs. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, the same as the NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same NFT. You're, you're buying computer space. The things yeah. can people can get away with today, you know. Um. Yeah, yeah. I think the more people, uh, the more uh, weird things is going to pop up. Uh, yeah. The world is getting smaller in some sense, and right. you're going to see a lot of things. And I, I just found that fascinating as a person who works in the field of psychology. I just found it amazing that this. Oh, you, this work, you, you, work, you work in the field of psychology? Uh, yes, I do. Oh. Yeah. What, what do you do? Is it, are you, uh, do you do, uh, do therapy or research? Um, I do more clinical work. Clinical. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is it is it like medical medical? Uh, no, it's it's straight up cl clinical. It's like a clinician. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, you could say you could say some sort of a therapist, but not quite. Oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so I'm happy. So like, it's fascinating. I download, I, download, I downloaded the snap the the snap cam. But I can't make it work on my camera because it's telling me that it's uh, being used by another application. What do yeah, I have to you do? Have what to, you you, do you is... have to leave and then come back. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay. All mm -hmm. right. So one second. I'll, let me see if I can get it working. All right. Wish me luck. I'm going to put the highlight on the little dark spots. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I do this right. I like it so far. It's nice. Fuck the paint ran over. Just gonna use that same old brush. It's working so well. Paint that corner. Okay, then you got a hooker. Can't get it. Come on, the brush is so stiff. I need something light. There we go. That's now we're now we're cooking with Crisco as Bond would say. There we go. Yes. Trying to just these highlights are just I'm not good yet, but I'm putting I guess you maybe you can't see it because it's tiny, but I'm just going in and I'm just trying to make it look like lights hitting the side. Oh, Frank already left. Uh, Frank's oh, right here. Now. He's got the devil horns. How are you, guys? Yes. Oh no, I'm talking about. Oh, oh, hey, Frank. Uh, what about all the other guys, Sam? He's coming he back. Left. There he is. Oh no, I'm talking about. Oh, oh, hey, Frank. 
Uh, what about the other guys, Sam? I'm here. I'm here. I was trying to get that uh, yeah, that yeah. Uh, program to work. I, I can't figure it out now. I'll figure it out at another time. I'm here. Yeah, I never use it on my phone, but I use it on my laptop. So. That's a really nice. That's Mountain, right? He's trying to do uh, Gibraltar. What's that? He's trying to imitate a, a picture he found uh, online of uh, Gibraltar in the distance. Oh, okay. That's a scary um, filter you had there. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is uh, Squidward. Uh, this is an episode of SpongeBob where Squidward becomes handsome. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yeah, I don't know if you ever seen the episode of Squidward. Um, that's why it has the, uh, even has the hand. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. That is cool, right? So, Sam, do you still live in Israel? Say what? What do you, what do you say, Candace? Do you, still say live, uh, do you still live in Israel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I didn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, um, we were talking about uh, what's about to arrive. It's a, it is what it is. You know, uh, people here are a lot of people here are in a state of uh, anticipation. So, that it, it can, we can't uh, ignore it. There's a lot of talk about it. A, there are a lot of things that uh, have have been uh, pointing directly at it a, from our uh, heritage and our traditions and uh, things that we should look for. And uh, it has a lot to do. And you know what? Guess what, John? A, Alex, <laughs> I'm, I swear, he keeps up with this show and he's watching this show. So he, he made a point of uh, emphasizing that uh, the Israeli coalition is about to fall apart. And, uh, it, you know, it, he didn't say the, uh, what kind of uh, relevance that has, but he made sure to throw that into his uh, last show from yesterday. A, and also there was something about Ben-Gurion having an inside track into, into the globalist's agenda from even 50 years ago, the 1962... Um, a U.S. State Department uh, memorandum uh, 2722, and he brought that up. Some caller, supp supposedly uh, some uh, random caller, I don't believe it was a random caller because these things happen to, ha uh, to be too convenient when he throws in subjects that relate to Israel right after we talk about this stuff. But of course, he has to put his angle on it, you know, because he uh, Alex Jones comes from a family of missionaries, you know. His family are Christian missionaries, they're Baptists. And uh, they, they're uh, a part of the group of, uh, a, a, I think his family came over on the, uh, on the uh, as a, uh, you know, the pilgrims that came over on the, uh, what's the name of that the ship? Mayflower? The Mayflower? Mayflower? The Mayflower, fuck, I forgot, the Mayflower. So he has relatives going back all the way to the Mayflower and the pilgrims and everything, and also... <laughs> And also family members that helped establish the state of Texas, and so this, and he's got this legacy. And that's what the, that's what the, is part of his drive. That's the part of what motivates him. And you could say that's in his blood, and it is in his blood. But the, uh, the thing is, he won't, and he can't, and neither can Harrison Smith or uh, another character you got there, uh, Nick Fuentes. They they, they yes. will. Not they will not. They will not uh, change their point of view on the on the uh, Christian and Catholic uh, approach to end times. So, if they're listening into this, they're listening in to get cues. Like, what what do the Jews think? What are the Jews are? What are the Jews up to? What are they uh, a, a looking forward to? What are they anticipating? In order to try to counter it or say, well, yeah, it's not going to happen that way. It's going to happen a different way. But it, we're used to that. It's a two thousand year a grudge match that we, we've gotten used to. And uh, now that we've come to the point of, uh, you know, do or die, 
We'll find out. It's happening soon. Oh, wow. That's 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 a nice one there, uh, Frank. Your hair's on fire and rainbow yeah, colors. rainbow uh, colors there. I'm telling you, they got thousands, and then you can create your own one. So it's it's great. Candace, get, it, get back on cam. We like watching Candace on cam. Come on. <laughs> that, that could be a theme, Candace on cam. Where are you, yeah. Candace? Probably having because of some connection issues. That's looking uh, good there, uh, John. Looking nice. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Wow. Yeah, the foreground should be, uh, you know, uh, yeah. A little lighter than the back, yeah. yeah. And it should be, no, but it should be like, uh, you know, the ocean. It, that could be like, a, you know, a, a, a seascape uh, with, a, an, you know, with, a, you know, land in the, or it could be an island or whatever, what have you. But I see, I see just like that photo, you know, uh, the sea or the ocean in the, in the foreground, blending into the beach and that uh, mountains, you know, uh, and th that would look really nice. You know, make it subtle. It should be subtle. Yeah. But you are getting good, John. You are. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. So what they're into, well, if Candace gets back on cam, it's like we can start a debating and arguing about this. But uh, what the uh, the Christians and the Catholics uh, anticipate is uh, the arrival of uh, the Antichrist that's supposed to be the Jewish Messiah. And uh, the building of the Third Temple will be a harbinger for the rule of the Antichrist on the throne uh, of uh, this Satan's th Satan's throne, so they make our Jewish Messiah the Antichrist, and he sits on the throne of Satan uh, in the Third Temple. How lovely! And uh, yeah, very, uh, okay. I'm yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm I'm back. So, so are you back? Or are you are you going to get back on cam? <laughs> <laughs> That's a million dollar question. Are you going to be back on cam? I'm going to be back. Oh, wow. Okay. You're still wearing the dress. Yeah, I am just wearing this dress. Because this dress is really good for dancing. Because it's like yeah. very it's like very tight. So uh -huh. it's like when I'm dancing, it's like, because, you know, some um, and dance instructor wants to see your curve and stuff, like, so that uh -huh. I can correct you. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, you know, a kind of uh, change it to something comfortable, like a t-shirt or something, just to make yourself comfortable because you just got back home or something. Oh, it's a really comfortable. Oh, okay. It's All right. very All right. comfortable. Yeah. And, um, but honestly, like, like, like I, I wanted to know who you think the Messiah is. Like, I, will tell, I, will, I will tell you. I'll put a picture of him on, on the uh, screen. His name is Rabbi Nir Ben Altsi. All right, and uh, there were there were people uh, that I spoke to uh, before the whole outbreak, and uh, they were there were uh, American tourists that came here that I, I met that happened to be uh, like Seventh Day Adventists or all sorts of uh, you know uh, different denominations that I met uh, a, that came and asked me the same thing, and this was years ago, and I told them it's it is my rabbi, Rabbi Neil Ben Altsi. I'll put his picture up. Just give me a second. Right. That's what when you, once you get Manicam working, you can put that as the image, your rabbi. One minute, yeah, one minute. Way. I have a, I, I have like thirty or more videos of them up on my YouTube uh, channel. That's all I do. I, I do uh, translations of his uh, lessons, and I, I and I put them up on YouTube. Like certain portions that I found to be. Uh, intriguing that I wanted to make known in public. Uh, give me a second. I'll share screen. Just give me a second. A da, 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 share screen. One second. Give me a second, John. A entire okay. screen. Oh, that's a good picture, of Frank. There you go. Give me, uh, John. You can share my screen now. That's the that's the that's the rabbi. That's the big rabbi. Rabbi Nehemiah. 
Okay, so he's a big rabbi. That makes him your messiah. Doesn't make me. It doesn't make him my messiah. It is the messiah. He is the messiah. Okay, so is. what is the proof? J Sam's a mischievous, or whatever they call it in English. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a genuine, authentic Messianic Jew. I'm not a Christian, wannabe, Jewish Messianic Jew or Jewish quasi-Christian Messianic. I'm a, you know, like a 2,000-year-old, take it to the past, time of the rebellion, Second Temple era Messianic Jew, the original, not the copy that the Romans uh, came up with, you know? And then, so... And so I'm the old school messianic Jew. I'm not the Christian messianic Jew. Old school and, Jew. Old yeah. school. Anyway, right, the criteria for him being the Messiah, he meets most of it, all of it, 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 aside from the fact that he hasn't been revealed uh, to the public as the Messiah. His face will be revealed to the public as the Messiah. But he ha he's, a, he's beyond clairvoyance. It's, it's not even clairvoyance. It's like... <laughs> The the uh, the heavenly clairvoyant is like a a a cult stuff. It's not. A, it's a, I'm I'm not using the right word there. If it's it sounds occultish to you, it's not. It's not. It's not that he has superpowers and clairvoyance. It, it's like uh, he's like a conduit. The Messiah in the in the Jewish tradition is that is is a man. He's immortal. He's not God. Uh, that's a perversion of our uh, uh, beliefs and, and, and what's written in our prophets. Can you uh, put his name in the private chat? Well, say what? What do you want me to put? Spell his name in the private chat. Oh, I'll oh, spell the name in the private chat. Okay, fine. You should know this. I, we're coming so close upon it. Maybe this is uh, not by coincidence. Nothing happens by accident. You know, I was supposed to take my son home. Uh, by train tonight, and he likes riding on the train to get back to uh, the ex's place. But I just didn't feel uh, up to it. I asked him, you know, maybe you can ask your mom to come pick you up, you know, and she doesn't live too far away. But he usually likes riding, riding on the train, and when I take him on the train, I just didn't feel like it tonight. I, and maybe this is the reason why, because I can uh, uh, publicize my rabbi uh, more to more people. Rabbi Neil Ben. Oh, let's see. I'll probably have to go to bed in like five minutes. So. All right, but maybe now that you uh, you have his name, a uh, you can spread it around uh, to your community and to the people you know, and they can uh, call him whatever they like uh, the Jewish uh, Antichrist or uh, the the seed of the devil guy, uh, whatever they want to call him, you know. But you will know. Yeah, go ahead. What did you say? You, Sammy, you, Sammy, you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. No, well, you're never late for dinner, John, and neither am I. It, it's, it shows on. <laughs> being, being late for dinner is okay as long as you're not late for work, right? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, well, I have been late for work for a few times, but. Uh, um, can can you put some can you put some like proof when it comes to yeah, never, okay all right no problem uh, there's uh, so much online for this past several years that uh, point to him just go, uh, just go to my website where, where, where I have everything that yeah. Sam has ever done in the past two years wait so Candace I'll give you excuse me I, I'll give you a link to my YouTube channel all right and there you'll find a lot of videos that I made. And I translate it into English, and you can watch them and decide for yourself. Okay, and I make this uh, the uh, bold declaration that Rabbi Neil Ben Alzi is Messiah, son of David, Mashiach Ben David. Okay, I'll give you a link to my YouTube channel. Mm. Sure, that would be nice. Give me a second. What did uh, Sam? We lost Frank. He went. Oh, you want me, you want like, me add your uh, YouTube he went, channel. He went into the background. Oh, okay. The stream yards make uh, the uh, speed of Maybe so you slow. can put your YouTube link in the private chat. Yeah, I'm putting my YouTube link. I just it's just not coming up as quick as it should because the stream yards uh, bites into the 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 speed of the internet that I got. Just give me a second.
Wow, it's so slow. Come on. Why is it so slow? No? Damn it. I don't know if I did the blending effect right, but that, uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm up to. Why Sam figures figures that out? Yeah, yeah guys, I'm I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna step out so I can get the link because it's like fucking up, uh, fucking with my uh, internet, and I'll be right back. Okay. I don't know how that coming out all right, but I did a blending. I try. I'm trying to do a blending effect. Yeah. Oh. All right, John. So I'll have to go to bed. Like, like I will go to bed, but I will like wait for the private chat um, link. Yeah, yeah, we'll get back to you some other day. I'm sure we're going to talk again. Just get some good sleep. Just get some good sleep. Don't worry about Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. He's going to be around. Okay, John. So I'll, I guess I'll, I'll talk to you through Facebook soon. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, of course. Okay. Prayers for you and take care and God bless. God bless. Thank you. Okay. So... I just been I, I took I, I've been taking the brush. I got my got my big brush here. I'm soaking it to clean it, but I got the big brush. Just just waved it a couple of times. Did a couple, you know, go in, make it blend, look like it's a mist. It's kind of hard. I I don't know how Bob does it. Bob makes it like look like he's like it's easy, but you know. Well, it takes practice, you know. It takes practice. But it looks nice, right? yeah. It takes practice, but it looks great. And definitely, and I'm trying to get a shadow of the mountain in here. I don't know. I, uh -huh. I don't know if I did that right, but nice. Right. nice. Looks, looks right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna head out. But it was good seeing you, man. Thank you. It was good seeing you too, Frank. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Welcome back, Sammy. Hey, welcome back to you. Look at so, that. Um, that. That is the blending effect. I don't know if you can see the blending that's effect. Right. That's, been, been... That, that's looking subtle and professional. It's it's getting there. Just don't muck it up with something right. like finish. Okay. Keep I'm gonna it. Try to do, I'm going to try to do like a shadow now, the mountain and the water. That's going to be a little difficult for me. Yeah. So All right. I that may was... skip that. I might skip the shadow. All yeah. right. But th that's looking more like a professional so, sort of landscape. Yeah. So, um, yeah. my armpit is fucking itching me. Um, so, so that I did that. I just going to, now I'm going to take a dry brush that I never used today and you uh -huh. just take it and you just, and you just do a quick, just a quick go over it really quick. And it helps the, it helps take off the extra paint and it helps make everything look normal. I guess you want to, that you say the word normal. Well, bl and blend it, uh, blending it in and, and make you it. Don't, and you don't push into it. You just very yeah. lightly. When you try, you try to make it look photographic and not not like a, a, an actual painting. You want to make it look photographic. Photographic, yes. Photographic. Very good. I don't know. Some shit got on the, the got on the mountain, but let me bring it a little closer so you can see. But well, that's, starting yeah. this, uh, I'm gonna start blending this a little better. It's, it needs a little blending here. But the mountain edges look good. I yeah, think I mean, uh, I mean, this yeah. Is a little work right there. But the yeah, mountain but that, tops are. are yeah, I'm getting yeah. along. I got to do a little blending. Got to do a little blending. No, no, no! Don't, don't, don't blend the. Uh, they should be more uh, kind of like a sort of like a, a you know sort of like pronounced that you could see the uh, the mountaintops and the edges of the mountaintops. That that makes it look photographic and sharp, like it's in focus. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Candice, you there, Candice? I added the link. She said she had to, she said she had to take a. Uh, uh, she had to go to bed, but she's waiting for the for the link of your website. Yeah, I put okay, it up there. Put, yeah, I put, put it, it up there. there. Okay, so Candice, if you're listening, the link is in the side chat for you. Rabbi Nir Banatsi, N I R B A B E N A A A R T. A R T Z. A -R -T -Z yeah, Harry yeah, says, yeah. I am the real Messiah. Actually, I actually did an interview with a guy last night, believe it or not. 
That was wacky, man. I was listening into a little bit of you that. Listening to that one? Yeah. He, go, he left a comment on my channel saying, "I'm a descendant of the of, of the king of Israel. I'm a I'm descendant of the king of Israel, King David." And I said, oh, "Okay, yeah, you are. Come talk to me." And I I I, I don't know what I was expecting. But hey, was he an Israeli? Was he Israeli living in like uh, Oregon and from Los Angeles? He's, he he sounded like a druggie a bit. He sounded like he was like uh, he you know like a little bit of a hippie. He was a little bit of a hippie, yeah. yeah. What can you do anyway, so I, I ran into this Air Force chaplain, young guy. A, also, I, know a big, I know you're not a big fan of Yiddish, but we call that a Mishagoyim. A Mishagoyim. Mishagoyim. Yeah. Mish, Mishagoyim. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Not but uh, I don't know if he was a Mishagoyim or if he was a Mishi Yid. He, was he Jewish or was he uh, half something well, mixed? A, a, according to him, he can trace his ancestry back to Queen Elizabeth of England in the 1600s, and then from there back to King David. But he had a bit of an accent. I, I thought he was an Israeli for a second. He wasn't, right? You know what? He looks like an Israeli. He looked like he could live on the uh, on the uh, settlement. I think he was a. I think he, I think he was a joker play, playing a, a practical joke on you. He was a, an Israeli for now. He might. It might have been a troll. You, you never know. Yeah, it, was a, it was a troll. An Israeli troll. Anyway, so I ran into like this chaplain uh, from California. He was in the Air Force, and he asked me the same thing. And this was many years ago. This was, uh, yeah, a long time ago. A, and I gave him the name, and I showed him the picture of my rabbi. And uh, a lot of people in the in the states know who he is, including uh, non-Jews. They know who he is. Even in the Arab world, in the Islamic world, uh, in Egypt and in Jordan and these places, they know him, they follow his lessons, they keep up with what he's saying, they understand the Hebrew also. But he sends them uh, messages in, uh, in Farsi and in Arabic as well, just to have them know that uh, they, they, sh they, they, they know what to expect. And believe, believe it or not, a lot of the uh, Islamic, uh, the Islamic world, the Arab world, no, they know that uh, we're, we're upon messianic revelation, and so and they're trying to stop it. Believe it or not, they think they could stop it. They think they can get in the way, and they're sorely, sorely mistaken. Just like what they did, uh, a, a, a you know, the Golden Gate. That was, but uh, the Golden Gate was built in the time of the Ottomans. It's uh, it was like rebuilt, but they they walled it, they bricked it up, thinking that that will stop the Messiah. <laughs> Bricking, you know. Oh, thinking, oh yeah. yeah. When was that? When did they do that? During the Ottoman era, if or the Mamluk era, it was. I can check when when the Golden Gate was uh, bricked up because uh, that's. that's what, the, I know the I know the Golden Gate, but they put that there because they're gonna they, they thought they're gonna stop the Messiah. They put a they put a, an Islamic uh, cemetery in the on the uh, on in the grounds uh, uh, the entrance to the Golden Gate. They put a. Uh, uh, they buried their dead there, an Islamic cemetery they put there, and they also bricked up the gate because in Jewish in the Jewish tradition, that's where the Messiah enters uh, Jerusalem from. Uh, but they, you know, the understanding is weak. It's a, it's a, it's an esoteric, a and a spiritual a uh, sort of uh, event that will happen. It's not that the Messiah on a, on a donkey enters Jerusalem like in the Christian version through the Golden Gate. It's all not, that's horseshit. It has a, 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 a in in Judaism, you know, there's layers of depth and meaning, and it's not so simple as the Messiah enters the gates of Jerusalem through the Golden Gate. But they thought because it's our tradition that that would stop him. You know that they would bury their dead there. In the entrance and wall up the gate. Uh, it's a, it's medieval a medieval understanding, you know. But what can you what can you expect? Golden Gate walled up. A why bricked. Bricked. In Jerusalem. Jerusalem. There we go. Here, I got the picture here. A good one. Oh, come on. 
Um, here it is. Yeah, good one here. You can't take a bad picture of Jerusalem. Honestly, every picture you take, it's just like those sand dunes. Every picture comes out spectacular. Share screen. Come on, Sammy. You got it? Yeah, I'm, I've gotten used to Use, I've gotten used to this one second. You ready? Uh, one second. I, I'm sharing my share. Share my screen. There we go. Okay. Oh, I see. So in the foreground, you have a, an Islamic cemetery. They buried their dead there, and then they walled up the uh, the gate. They uh, yeah, because uh, because of uh, the Jewish uh, uh, and Christian. Because uh, the Christians borrowed it from us, uh, from our prophets, that the Messiah should, would enter Jerusalem uh, by way of the Golden Gate, from the Eastern Gate. It, it is the Eastern Gate, from the East. That's where the tradition comes from, that the, the Messiah would uh, uh, come from the East. Yeah. You there, Candace? Did you get my link? You know, it's kind of it's kind of a uh, opportunity. You know, the, the all the people that she's uh, uh, in contact with, her uh, her uh, club or her clique or her uh, you know uh, buddies should. Uh, well, I'm sure they already know because they've talked to me before. But uh, she could share it with uh, whoever she knows. One second, I'm going to try to find that passage uh, from the prophets where it says that the Messiah would enter from the Golden Gate. A prophet, prophetic Golden Gate Messiah, quote, more Golden Gate Messiah passage. Passage. All right, here I found I found it. It's in Ze uh, Zechariah. Oh, Zechariah. Zechariah fourteen four. Okay. It says, "On that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, east of Jerusalem, and the Mount of Olives will be split in two, from east to west, forming a great valley, with half of the Mount moving north and half moving south." A okay. Da, 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 da. It's all a you know battle of uh, you know Gog and Magog that's supposed to they think according to the Christian tradition and the uh, some of the Jews uh, like to think that uh, this is the only way it will go down. It won't go down this way, but uh, it, it, in some form or fashion, this happens in one way or another. You know, by one uh, route, one path, or another, it doesn't have to necessarily be the literal uh, description of uh, an earthquake that splits Mount the Mount of Olives to form a new valley. It's all esoteric, you know, John. There's plenty of uh, meaning and layering there. It doesn't necessarily always mean uh, what you read on the surface. You know, the the the, the prophets have plenty of depth. Like what's happening now? Does that correlate one hundred percent to the literal reading of the prophets? Although it's already happening right now, and we're living that time, it's no, it, it's uh, it's indisputable in my opinion, and according to many people, it's indisputable. But it's it's manifesting in ways that are abstract and esoteric, not necessarily uh, literal. You know. Uh, the seal of the gate. Here, here uh, we'll read about it. Closed by the Muslims in the year 810. It reopened in 1102 by the Crusaders. It was walled up by Saladin after regaining Jerusalem in 1187. Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent rebuilt it together with his city walls. 
but walled it up again in eight, in four, in fifteen forty one, and it stayed that way. Suleiman may have taken his decision purely uh, for defensive reasons, uh, but in Jewish tradition, this is the gate through which the Anointed One, the Messiah, will enter Jerusalem. In relation to the Muslim belief, Jesus of Nazareth is the Messiah. It is suggested that Suleiman, the Magnificent, sealed the Golden Gate to prevent a false Messiah or, quote, an Antichrist or the Antichrist from coming through the entrance. The Ottomans also built a, a cemetery in front of the gate to prevent a false uh, precursor to the Anointed One, Elijah, from passing through the gate. This belief was, was based upon two premises. First, according to Islamic teaching, that Elijah is a descendant of Aaron, making him a priest or a Kohen. Look, they're going off of Jewish, or <laughs> Jewish beliefs that he's a, a priest or a Kohen. Second, that a Jewish uh, priest or Kohen is not permitted to enter a cemetery. This second premise is not wholly correct because a Kohen is permitted to enter a cemetery in which either Jews or non-Jews are buried, such as the one outside of the Golden Gate, as long as certain laws of or halachic uh, uh, permissions or restrictions regarding purity are followed. And that's not right. That's not right. The, 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 uh, the rule or the law is that uh, a priest, a Kohen, should... Uh, you build a fence four feet high that covers up to his waist and you can kind of go around it. Yeah, there you go. That's how they go to a Kohen. That's how they go to the old hell. So yeah, that, that's... Build, that. If you've ever been there, they build like a thing. Right. Well, let's see that. That's that's the uh, you know what's the caveat? The, yeah. These are people not thinking with the Yiddish cup. If you know. What <laughs> that. Yeah. That's it's from, it's from Wikipedia. So what can you expect? <laughs> I'm glad I've got, a bit, of, right. got a bit of a chill flowing through the window here. I got to close my window. Oh. Candice, Candice, where are you? Oh. Yes, yeah, so we're upon a, a big event, a major event. A, again, a, a, in those videos that I put up on my channel, um, there's a video there from uh, nine months ago that uh, states, my rabbi states, that when this uh, current coalition uh, disintegrates or unravels, it will be the primary sig signal for uh, messianic revelation. And, uh, and uh, I found <coughs> uh, Tom, uh, passages from the Talmud a, about this government that we have, you know, and it's in Hebrew. But I'll share it with you, and I'll translate it for you, all right? And we'll do some of the calculations because uh, it's actually very confusing. It was confusing to me because we've already gone past nine months according to the, uh, you know, the Gregorian calendar, the, the regular uh, calendar we go by. But uh, the Hebrew calendar is actually, you know, you have uh, two months uh, that are one month that are, uh, joined into one month. You have Adar Aleph and Adar Bet. And I didn't think, I didn't put that uh, together. I didn't, you know, uh, take that under consideration. And I realized that that's where I made a mistake in my calculation regarding months in the, the Hebrew calendar. So actually, we are uh, at the point of nine months, and that occurred only a few days ago on Dalid Nisan. And I was mistaken. I thought it would happen in the month of March uh, during uh, a Adar. And it's not in Adar. It's uh, the nine months uh, from the time that the government uh, was uh, installed, <coughs> according to the Hebrew calendar, uh, to, uh, to the date where, where their time is up. The nine months actually happened a few days ago. And uh, that's where I was mistaken. I, I, didn't, I wasn't thinking according to the Hebrew calendar, I was thinking according to the Gregorian calendar, but in the like again in the Hebrew calendar, we have two months uh, joined into one uh, when you have Adar Aleph and Adar Bet. All right, so you ready for this, John? I'm going to share my screen. Uh, it's a reading from the uh, uh, it's a reading from the Talmud, and it's a guy who's speaking in Hebrew explaining 
a something that uh, I that kind of I overlooked. Uh, but uh, get ready here. One second, I'll show. How long this. is the video, though, Sam? How long is it? <laughs> it's a minute long. It's less than a minute long. It's actually less than a minute. But he explains it, and it, it kind of like uh, uh, okay. Uh, Audio, share, and entire screen. Hello. Okay, well, give me a second. All right, let me cue it up. Let me cue it up and the volume. Do you see my screen with uh, Facebook? Yeah. All right, let me make it uh, full screen. בואו תראו מה שמפליא ששמעתי בשם מען ראש הישיבה, הרב מאיר מזוז. כתוב בגמרא בסנהדרין, דף צדיק ח' עמוד ב', אמר רב, אין בן דוד בא עד שתתפשט מלכות הרישה על ישראל תשעה חודשים, שנאמר לכן ניתנם את עת יולדה וכולי. דהיינו כמו יולדת שישה חודשים וכן הלאה. עכשיו הממשלה הזאת היא קמה בד' תמוז. היום זה ד' ניסן. בדיוק תשעה חודשים. הוא אומר, מרן ראש הישיבה זה סימן מובהק לגאולה. זה רצון שניגאל במהרה בימינו. אולי, אתה יודע את זה, ג'ון? אני יודע את זה, כן, או כן, אני מדבר פלואנט היברו. אני אסביר לך. כן, אם קנדס הייתה פה, היא שאלה לך... for some sort of evidence, some sort of proof why we're getting all uh, enthusiastic, why, why we're... She wanted to take a nap. I think that's what she said. What? She wanted to take a nap. She was tired. Oh, all right, all right. She's listening. Right. She's sleeping, but she's listening. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So basically, it's like this. They, I made uh, a lot of uh, pronouncements uh, about... This government, uh, this coalition, fitting the bill for uh, the uh, end times prophetic uh, government that uh, would need to arise and that we, we would have to suffer through. Mm -hmm. And what he read, the passages that the man that uh, was uh, reading from the Talmud, the Sanhedrin, and uh, the passages there were uh, in connection to uh, this uh, prerequisite that uh, would have to be fulfilled before uh, the Messiah Uh, the Mashiach would be uh, revealed, or, you know, Idgalut HaMashiach. So there would be a nine-month period where we would have to endure a government that would be so uh, heretical and, and, and against us and antithetical to religious Jewish beliefs and uh, against the Jews living in Israel and, tr you know, trying to, un un you know, undermine us and destroy us and, and having uh, the Arabs... in control of it. And this has been fulfilled. The Arab parties had leverage over this government from the minute it was uh, a, a, a installed and sort of like uh, uh, announced. And, and, and the dating that he, uh, the man that was reading from uh, Sanhedrin, uh, is that uh, the dating was uh, eluded me. That I said, how could that be nine months? But it is nine months according to the Jewish calendar. He said that the government, uh, this current coalition of Bennett and Lapid, uh, the Shinui uh, monstrosity Frankenstein government we have that has been in, in power for the past uh, nine, nine and a half months, uh, began in Dalid Tammuz, which was uh, in uh, June, 14th uh, or 16th of June, something like this. I, I, I looked it up. And he said that the nine-month period ended in uh, Dalid Nisan. Okay, so Dalid Nisan, um, see, my birthday was Gimel Nisan. Gimel Nisan was a uh, Sunday or uh, uh, last Sunday, the 3rd of April. And so it happened on uh, Monday. Okay, Monday, this past Monday was Dalid Nisan. All right, that's when the nine-month period ended. officially according to the Jewish calendar ended that is what eluded me you know because uh, my rabbi also made these statements in uh, in late February uh, early March and he kept on repeating it that uh, the time is up for this government time uh, time is up and he said it before the nine-month period ended so he he uh, sort of like uh, 
was preceding it. He was uh, giving you uh, like a uh, heads up. This guy, the time for this government to go has arrived. And what he said when this government was installed and uh, when this government was, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you do when you, uh, you, you, you kind of like when they, when you, when you uh, swear, they were sworn in, when they were sworn in. That's the expression I was looking for. They were sworn in nine months ago. And so the dating, the exact specific dates eluded me. And now, after I've, I've seen this video, it's it's correct. According to the Jewish calendar, nine months ended uh, just uh, last week, uh, Monday, all right? Uh, or just this past Monday, on the 4th of April. Of, uh, the 4th of April. Uh, so, yeah, that's if, if Candace wanted to know why there's a lot of a uh, sort of like a... Uh, enthusiasm and, and talk uh, it's because uh, it's true it's written in our uh, in our books in our uh, and also many f famous uh, rabbis have been uh, uh, making these kinds of uh, connections and comments uh, and we've got Bible codes uh, and we've got a uh, other like the rabbi Schneerson uh, the Rebbe the Chabad Rebbe with his prophecy uh, that he uh, or gave uh, before he passed away, he wrote it down in his notes, and he passed it on to his, uh, you know, his uh, congregation or his uh, people. That Bennett and I used the wrong letter. I caught myself. I used the wrong letter. It was Bet Nun uh, Tet. Okay, not tough. Bet Nun Tet. Oh, Tet. Not tough. Okay. Uh, sometimes even my Hebrew sucks. You know, sometimes my Hebrew uh, a reading well, and tab, 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 it's a T at least. I mean, you know, if you're, if you're an astronaut, then they think it's an S, but you know. As you see, because I didn't grow up, yeah, I didn't grow up with Hebrew. I grew up with English, but it's Bennett, Ben Nun Tet, and uh, Rabbi Schneerson Zichon uh, Olevocha left uh, a note uh, before he passed away that uh, the uh, sign for Messianic revelation would begin with Ben Nun Tet, and he didn't know who this guy was, and he didn't know it would be a man, uh, you know, he didn't know who, who, who it would be, but he connected it to uh, 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 his government, and this is what, you know, this is prophetic. He, but, you know, how long ago? He passed away in 1994, right? So 20, uh, 2022, 22 years, plus six, uh, 28 years, 28 years ago when Bennett was still in high school or in college, he wrote that, uh, uh, that the uh, sign for the Messiah would be uh, would come from Bennett, and his government falling apart, uh, and 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 having Passover be a kosher and very happy holiday. Uh, so people uh, uh, also publicize that, and we've got the Bible codes also from uh, Glazerson, Rabbi Glazerson, saying that uh, Pesach is um, a fortuitous uh, and uh, a auspicious time. Uh, and it was so in the last cycle of uh, the sabbatical uh, that was uh, the sabbatical year from seven years ago. If Candace is hearing this, she wanted to get all the proof, and she wanted she was uh, trying to she was gonna you know uh, grill me and uh, you know uh, start uh, you know giving me the what's the what's the expression for when a cop starts a uh, uh, questioning a, a witness or questioning a a, a perp. You know, I, she, you know, there's a word for that. You know, anyway, she, you know what I mean. I mean. Uh, she, she was going to give me the the fifth degree or something like that, if that's the right expression. Candace. Anyway, Candace, you you can watch this later and get all the uh, get all the uh, you know material and information you need. To pass along to whoever, uh, and the link is in the uh, private chat. But if you if you if you won't uh, see this, uh, I get it while while we're still broadcasting, my YouTube channel uh, goes by Sam from Israel. Okay, you can easily find that. It's not uh, my my Facebook is Sam Samuels, but my YouTube channel is called Sam from Israel. You can easily find it on YouTube, and there you'll find all of the videos that I posted. Translate it into English if you need uh, more material to uh, review uh, with the claims that I'm making. All right? But, uh, yeah. Where'd you go, John? John? Oh, 
And uh, all you uh, a jokers over there in the chat uh, trying to rile me up if you're making all sorts of uh, goofy, annoying comments. I'm not reading your comments. I'm in the uh, StreamYard's uh, private area the, uh, where we're uh, just uh, schmoozing. I'm not even uh, you know, responding to whatever nonsense you're writing over there. Still alive, Sammy? Yeah, I talked to myself, and I was like uh, talking to the people in the chat section that I can't see, but they're writing all sorts of like goofy shit. Uh, do we have any? Uh, we don't have anyone in the comments today. No, I saw some comments in the YouTube uh, channel there. Uh, Ari said like an hour ago that he is the Messiah. That's the only thing that's in there. No, there was some guy saying that uh, Sam is a fat ass that he doesn't do shit. Oh, yeah, that was like two hours ago, yeah. Oh, okay. Eh, don't worry about him. Loser. Yeah, yeah Sam is no beast. He doesn't do anything. Because I said oh. you'd be out surfing on the... Because I said I was going to paint you surfing, and he said that. My rabbi, my rabbi's uh, broadcasting. Uh, it's Motzei Shabbat. So why don't you go hang out, then? I'll I'll, uh, I'll see you soon, then, if you got a guy alone. No, no, I just want to see what those uh, bastards wrote about me. I'm opening up your channel. Hey. Also, also leave your channel in the comment section. Let people know where you are if you want. Morning. I was watching all this morning. It was like, John is like a Jewish Bob Ross. Sam is simply an unhappy little accident. Sam is obese. He doesn't do anything. Thank you very much. I wouldn't listen to them, Sam. They don't know what they're talking about. Well, this is what this is the treatment you've been, uh, you know, uh, enjoying uh, over the years that uh, you've been broadcasting, looking for people uh, to get you down and uh, yeah, get under. Your, I, there's uh, nothing special out here. Huh? What? There's no one special out here. No one. Huh? Don't uh, I don't look for anyone on YouTube to give me any love. I expect to hate. I mean, look at this. I painted a nice picture here. You think someone leave a comment? Oh, you know, John, you did a good job painting. I'm making a full screen. Painting. It's very nice. It's, uh, see, it's subtle. It's, you don't have to add too much to it. You keep it simple. You ever heard this expression that uh, more, uh, less is more? Stupid. Yeah, less is stupid. No, less is more. Less is more. You know what I would suggest? You know, just a little bit of, uh, you know, now a uh, create some haze. If you can create, I have, yeah, I have to wait for it to dry first, and I'm gonna come uh, up with some whitish grayish paint and make like a haze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna take off. Uh, I think I did. I think I did my duty tonight. Candace came into the room and she asked to see a picture of my rabbi and uh, get his name and get more information. I, I feel no hesitancy and uh, no uh, sort of, uh, you know, a concern you did a about. Hell of a job, Sammy. You did a hell of a job. I'll, you know, if I have to publicize my rabbi to Christian missionaries, uh, so be it. They need to know. Yeah, so, fight fire with fire. You know, you tell their uh, missionaries that you got a better missionary style for them. No, it's well. I'm not. A, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you could call me an apostle. You know, I, 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 there, there's an expression in Hebrew for uh, when a rabbi has a, a sort of a supporters or uh, enthusiasts or people who promote him or people who speak about him or people that spread the message about him. That's uh, the uh, the Greek word is apostle, right? So the uh, Hebrew word is actually a chassid. A chassid of a rabbi. Yeah, it's a chassid. It's a chassid. But it's not just a, a chassid, like a simple chassid. When you have a rabbi that you support, that you consider your own, and you you uh, you 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 what's the term? What's the, another term that they use? Bulkram or something like that. Bulk, yeah, it, 
uh, no, you liken yourself to a, a, a supporter and a promoter of your rabbi, you're called a chassid of that rabbi. So that's the actual, that's actually what you can call an apostle. So if you want to call me Apostle Sam, you may call me Apostle Sam. You're a chassid in my book. Oh, yeah. Well, Christianize, you know, they like to Christianize everything Jewish. They, they like to uh, take our shit and Christianize it. So you take, take me and Christianize me and make me Apostle Sam instead of uh, a chassid Sam, you know. Take it easy. Big boy. We call you the big boy. We're gonna we'll call you big boy Sam. The heavy boy. All right, take it easy. Take it easy, Sammy. Ciao, ciao. Love you. Ciao. What's going on? Yeah, you can join. You got the, the links out there for anyone to join. Just be civilized. Um, I, I think I'm going to wait for this to dry and then start a new painting. I think I'm going to – I think I might have start – I use too much blue and brown and green. I want to do something besides blue, brown, and green all the time. Um. I mean, I like blue. I like blue and greens, but I, I all, everything I do is blue and greens and blue and greens and browns. But I guess that's what life is, right? Blue, life is blue, greens, and browns. And got Bob Ross up there. Surprised, Sam, I, I'm surprised Vaughn didn't get up yet. He, he told me he was taking a nap. Losing weight till my pants are falling now. Oh, uh, what's going on? You mean I don't know, I can't hear you if you're saying anything. Can't hear you. I I do not hear I hear she I could go back and fix a I can go back and add to this one. Got me a pack of canvases.
At least smell good. Smells good, baby. Oh, it smells real good. Yeah, boy. We're going to do one that is up and down. Can't seem to get your mic working. All right. Someone who does live streaming themselves can't get the mic working, huh? Let's see. Let's see. What are we going to paint today? What are we going to paint today? Let me get my phone out. But we got to think about what are we going to do? Happy, let's see, sunset. Here we go. That's a powerful picture right there. I want to find something like that. That's something nice. Hmm, I think I'm going to do that one. Sunset, let's do mountain. This was pretty good. What about this one? That one might look like it could work. Thank you. 
There's a great big tall cage they built. We call it, we call it Cage Squirrel Hilton. That's all these foreign creatures. But that's okay. Pretty soon here he's going to be turned loose and go back to nature. And he'll say, Well, he really had it made. He can live like a king for a while. Okay. I get off on some crazy subjects here. I've talked too much. Now let's go back to work. Okay. I think I'm going to do something like this. That's what I'm going to do. And I don't know what to paint. I need so I need some inspiration. Starting off with some white, like always. Put a little water on it. Get a little wet.
Some nice dark spots. Get a little dark blue too. I want to forget him, like Bob Ross would say. I don't want to forget about him. Real dark. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Which definitely looks like nighttime here. So I just I just go with it. I don't Let's take off the extra paint. So I've actually got these brushes too. We're going to use these brown round, round brushes. I forgot about those. I forgot about all those round brushes. Thank you. 
you could join me today and welcome to the joy of painting. Tell you what, let's start out today. First thing, I've got all the colors across the screen, but you can to paint them on with me while they're doing that. Come on up here. I have my standard old canvas up here. It's all covered with a nice thin coat of the liquid white. It's wet, slick, and it's ready to go. There we go. Now that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see what the technique I'm doing. I'm making clouds here. And I'm below I'm I'm just turning it in. Little shapes and everything. Some black, some yellow ochre, and some 
white. It gives us a little bit of greenish color. If it comes out too green, add a little crimson to it. And that will fill it I like that, but I don't, I don't know what to do with that now. What am I going to turn that into? That's the, that's a really nice background. You know what I'm going to do? This is a fantastic way to make the scene look like it's really beautiful and good. Very nice layer of trees. Just by doing that, it really cuts out very many black effects. As I mentioned before, so this is this is way the better way. I look for easy ways. Oh, that looks pretty cool. That looks really nice.
Oh, what's going on? Welcome back. Cheers. I'm fine. You got your uh, mic working again, huh? Yeah, yeah. I hope so. That's uh, good. I was about to give up hope. I was like, maybe he can't get it working. Must have been a miracle. A miracle. So which one are you doing, the sunset one? I was going to do the sunset one, but then I got kind of got in the mood to do like a sort of an abstract, sort of a different little, yeah. cool. you know, it, it, I just take it wherever it goes, you know, whatever I feel like doing, mm. I'll take it. That last one was good, the mountain thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. I thought that was pretty nice. All right. What am I going to make this? What am I going to do here? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I putting here? I often ask myself that question. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> That's a biting question. What am I doing here? What's, what, what is, what's going on? What's happening? I know. I got something I want to do. All right. So how's your day going? Yeah, not too bad. I just woke up about half an hour ago. It's... 20 past seven in the evening and yeah i've been asleep all day what do you sleep all day <laughs> yeah i have to stay up at night but talk to you american people <laughs> yeah you have to stay up all night well, you have yeah, to? don't have to really yeah <laughs> or do you choose to i choose to yeah yeah for some reason is there, a, is, there, is there a reason why you like talking to Americans? Why not talk to uh, English people in uh, your own time zone? There's, there's not so many about it on YouTube. It's mainly Americans. No? I mean, yeah. Yeah, there are a few. But... That's odd, huh? Mm. Yeah. Might just be. What about this. Andy? What about that guy Andy? Isn't he up from? Uh... He's yeah, he's from yeah, England. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. A eccentric, let's say. You think? <laughs> he's a little bit more than that, but. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to that. So what time is it over there? It is 2.24 in the afternoon. Cool. I'm, I think I want to do some sort of... Uh, um... Let's see. I'm feeling uh, a little red down the bottom here. Yeah. Do something like a little modern art, what they call modern, what they call art nowadays. Yeah. Do yeah. Art, an just, art yeah, masterpiece. Just all over. <laughs> what I should do is stick the paint in my ass and then fart on the canvas. And <laughs> yeah. Jackson Pollock. Looks like just thrown up all over the canvas. So I was going to ask you about the Jewish thing, if you don't mind talking about it. Yeah, I'll talk about whatever you want. Uh, just how, how did you get into it and 
did you get like special how did i get how did i get into the jewish thing yeah um one day i woke up and i said to myself i have to change i have to get better and yeah. i thought that um you know starting to pray every day at the, my local's community was was a way of fixing myself getting closer to god So you, did you start off praying to that specific God, or was it just any God? Well, that? I, I was really what I was a no, I was what what you call a Noahide. Have you have you heard of a Noahide? I've I've heard the word. I don't know what it means. It it means you're a non-Jew, but you really like the Bible, the the, the Jewish Bible. Yeah. yeah, but you're not Jewish. But uh, so you're like. It's like uh, you hang around with Jews, but you're not Jewish, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. And so one day I was doing that, and I felt like I was missing out on a lot of things. And I wanted to be actually part of the community. So I, yeah. I, I decided to, to, to convert. I've heard that that's tricky. They don't like you kind of conversing or they try to warn you against it like yeah they think it's like the myth of gods they like treat non-jews like shit and then yeah. if you're and then if you're one of them that wants to convert then they treat you they think it's like uh like they have a license from god to yeah give you a time you know to be a prick you know like I, that's how i put it <laughs> bigger the bigger the yarmulke bigger the prick <laughs> bigger the yarmulke bigger the prick and so, you know, it is, it was like, it was what it was. And I did, I did that for many years, seven years, six years. Yeah. And I moved on, you know, I, I, I got a life. So are you, are you kind of accepted now? What is happened? That, uh, are you kind of accepted now in that community? Oh, I, I converted to Judaism. Yeah. I have a legitimate gears. But yeah. within that community, I left that community. I never went back, so I don't know what's even what's yeah. even going on there to begin with today. Like I, I wouldn't know the first thing what's going on. Boo! <laughs> hey, what's going on, Vaughn? I, I was like, "What's going on?" He's taking an awful long nap. <laughs> oh, dude, I needed it. Apparently, I mean, I I was gone, dude. I hit that pillow, man, and bam, I was out. I was out like a light. Well, let's see. Um, so, are we showing our colors for uh, for Russia or United oh, States? Oh, that's or, actually like a really. I, I wasn't going for French. Russia, but that could be what it is, right? Well, it's, it's red, white, and blue. So it's either it's either America, Great Britain. Well, France, I'm gonna get rid of Russia. that white right there in a second. Oh, you're gonna get rid of the white, okay? But yeah, I was gonna say it's red, white, and blue. So it's either America, France. Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand, or Russia, because all all of those use red, white, and blue as their colors. So I figured it was in one of those countries. <laughs> uh, I thought it was just red. Huh? What's that? As the Russian got blue in it. Who? Who as does? Who? As the Russian flag got blue in it. Which which flag? The Russian. Yeah, Russia's red, white, and blue colors. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah not, Russia's red, white, and blue, but yeah, the Soviet Russia. Blue. Is not. Uh, it's uh, not. It's, yeah. it's not. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You, yeah. You, uh, but see, there. What, the, yeah. Well, what they done? They switched the colors around. It's it's like red, yeah. blue, and white. Instead of red, white, and blue, it's red, blue, and white. But yeah, it's yeah. it's still the th same three colors. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. Fact, I was uh, in, Soviet Union. Well, it, it's it's funny because uh, there was actually a controversy about the roundels back in World War One, because they tried to get America to use roundels like uh, like the British and the French and and the Russians were using. But when they went to, when America went to use the roundels, they kept getting theirs confused with the with the Russians because they looked kind of similar. Right, they look kind of similar, yeah. They did actually. Let me. In fact, I'm going to bring them up here. Let's bring up an American.
Um, <laughs> yeah, let's bring that up and we'll take a look at it. And there's the, see, there's the American round hole right there. The American round, they came yeah. and got it red, blue, and white. Because the first round hole is red, white, and blue. Yeah. So, they had, so the Americans did the, the red, blue, and white. But now, see, uh, let's do the Russians now. Because they're almost exactly the same. I think the Russians had like a little line in the company. But they're very similar, and that's where the what that's where he comes. Yeah, here, see here. See now there's there's the Russian one. It's red, blue, and white yeah. blue. See? Yeah. So there was there was a controversy there, you know, because see, I get into arguments with the people uh that claim to be historians, and I get into arguments with people on certain World War One Jim Formula. <laughs> I get into Get into arguments with, with people when it comes to this issue because I mean I show them how the roundels are damn near the same, and they say, "Well, that doesn't keep, keep it on the art pieces, though, Vaughn. Just like briefly show it and then put it back on the painting." Yeah, well, I am, I am, but I, but it's uh, it's uh, you know I I I I uh, I, I try to uh, explain to them that you know no the it's the American star that uh, was predominant. During World War One, for the Americans, but see, they they try to claim the exact opposite. See, they say no, the the roundel is. And I said I don't believe so because the roundel was so close to what the Russians had that it, it you know there was a I, I imagine there would have been confusion there, and that I I firmly believe that the American star is is uh, is the is the predominant one. And. Uh, Oh, good. I can still let him watch him paint. Okay, but uh, but yeah, see the see the see the star there. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that um, it's it's. Uh, I think that the star is the prevalent. Just keep it. Just keep it on. Just keep it, Vaughn. Just keep it. Just you show it already. We we get it. We get yeah, it. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't. I want, I want everyone to focus on the painting. Well, they they are. They're painting. Yeah, you're painting. We see your painting. I, that's why I done it. That you can see the painting. Anyways, uh, but yeah. You know, but I get into a, I get into a controversy with people over that, and then uh, when I point out to them that the Russian uh, roundel and the American roundel are virtually the same thing, now mm -hmm. the Russian roundel's colors are a little bit skinnier on the roundel than they are American, but so what? It's it's the exact same colors in the exact same order, yeah. and that had to have caused confusion. It had to have. And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, no, I think the American star had had prevalence back in World War One. Now I've seen a lot of I, I've seen a lot of uh, pictures uh, of American planes in World War One that had the star on it. Mm. I can't say I saw many American aircraft that had the roundel, but uh, now mm. there was a lot of um, Newport 28s and a few Spads that I seen that were American that had the roundel, but um, yeah. You know, a lot of the planes I saw had the American stars. So, I mean, you know, so, it, you know, the controversy continues. But, <clears throat> but I, you know, it, it, there was some controversy there. <laughs> controversy so, continues, Vaughn. Oh, yes. yeah, baby. Yeah, it Woo. <laughs> it's always it a controversy. I'm going to I'm gonna push the star. I'm going to push the star because, number one, it's a pentagram. <laughs> and number two, because, you know, it just looks cool as hell. It really does. The American star on planes look cool as hell. But anyway, so uh, so uh, what? So are you speaking of speaking of what we're doing here? Are, are we doing hell? Is that why it's red on the bottom? What? Why is it red on the bottom? I I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. Oh, you're just it's, letting it's, your energy it's, it's, out. It's okay, just, cool. It's just going with. I'm just going with it. That's fine. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, just uh, whatever wherever the energy takes you, man. That's you're you're sounding more pagan every day, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Just let that let that energy flow, man. Wherever the energy takes you, man, you'll be all right. Thank you. Uh, good painting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, looks like Todd's in the uh, audience. Todd, if you're going to be a good, uh, hopefully you're going to be a good boy. Uh, we'll see. We'll good, see. Hey, hey, don't. Uh, let's see. Um, what am I going to do now? Just let the energy take you wherever, man. Just let the energy flow, baby. Yep. Just let it flow like a good pagan. 
Just let it flow. Let it out, man. Get it all out. So I was asking John how he got into the Judaism. So how did you get into the paganism? Well, we don't mind. How did I get into paganism? Well, uh, it's, it's Christianity actually, fucked him over so many times. Well, that that's true. It did. <laughs> but that's not the only thing. But, you know, but yeah, Christianity really... Christianity really, really done me a, done me bad. It really did, uh, but that wasn't the only thing. I mean, that was, that was one of the one of the major pushes, though I have to say. Uh, but, uh, but it wasn't the only thing. I mean, you know, I, I did, you know, I, I wanted to do. I wanted to study other religions of the world, and, yeah. um, you know, in that in the course of that study, I learned a great many things and. And uh, as a result, uh, that kind of swayed my my opinion. But uh, but yeah, Christianity did deal me several life threatening blows, and uh, yeah. Yeah. so uh, obviously I had to I had to look for something else. I had to I had to look in a hurry too because I mean I was in bad shape. I was really in bad shape. Yeah. Uh, but the gods were looking out for me. The gods of creation were looking out for me, and and uh, so I'm good now. And which particular brand of paganism is it? Well, that's it. I'm kind of forging on, out on my own. I've mm. I've decided to forge out on my own and and seek out the true gods of creation. And um, so I I want I did something very radical. Uh, one day I said, I I was I was disgusted and angry. Actually, I was disgusted. I was angry. I was hurt. I was upset. I was you know a flurry of emotions. And I just blurted out, what the fuck do you guys want? You know? I said, just what What do you want? What do you guys want? They said, okay. they said, okay, we'll take that challenge. We'll tell you exactly what we want. And we'll tell you what we don't want. And then you'll know exactly what's up. And I'm like, well, that sounds fair to me. And they said, first of all, we don't like being given human names, human attributes, and human jobs. Yeah. Okay, we're not the god of the water, god of the air, god of the sea, god of this, god of that. We control everything. We monitor everything. We share monitoring everything. We're not, you know, don't pit. In other words, don't put us in a box. Don't pigeonhole us. Don't give us human shit because we're not human. So we don't like that. You know, because yeah. because a lot of times we humanize gods to our image. Yeah. Okay. You get it? You get it? Kind of like so, Yashka, yeah. Yeah, and 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 they're like, you know, we're not human. Why are you giving us human names? Why are you yeah. giving us human attributes? Why are you giving us jobs? You know, they they monitor stuff. That's true, but they, you know, there isn't like a god of the air, god of the water, god of the sea, god of the, god of the, uh, uh, you know, whatever. That you know, and the demons are the same way. By the way, there's not particular necessarily, but now now there is a hierarchy. Like in the military, you know, where you have uh, arc demons, demons, lesser demons, imps, etc. That that much is true. But as far as you know, each one of them having different. It's not like it's not like humans have 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 become recently where we're where we're all specialists. You know, well, this yeah. guy does brakes, and this guy does steering, and this guy does transmissions, and this guy does engine work, and and you, you get what I'm saying? they they're like no. In fact, that's exactly what um, is the exact opposite of how we are. And so, um, you know, that was uh, that was one of the things they pointed out to me is how specialized you notice how specialized humanity has become. They said, we're not like that. We never were like that. We don't want you to be like that. But that's how things have become here lately. So. So why do they how do they kind of speak to you how do they tell you these things is it um okay first of all let me make it abundantly clear if you're hearing voices in your head you get to a doctor immediately because yeah. you're crazy from yeah. bitch right <laughs> okay because yeah. uh no they don't speak in your head uh that's demons and craziness that does that uh what they do it'll be like an overwhelming feeling you know yeah It'll be like an overwhelming feeling. It'll be something you can't, you know, when you know it's a truly of the gods, you can't ignore it. You know, yeah. I'll be I'll be engrossed in doing graphics work or or I'll be in there cutting on foam or whatever. And um, it'll just be an overwhelming feeling. You can't ignore it. You can't get around it. You can't sidestep it. You can't distract yourself. It'll just be an overwhelming 
I know that I know that I know that I know that I know type yeah. deal. Right. By the peace of us. Yeah. yeah, there's no getting away when you, when it's truly of the gods, you'll know it because there's just no way you can get away from it or sidestep it or anything of that nature. And uh, so, you know, um, but it's not in your head because, you know, if you're hearing voices in your head, you crazy some bitch, you need to go get admitted. Yeah. Uh, so, no, it's not. It's not voices in the head or anything. But um, but, you know, the, yeah, it's just an overwhelming it's this overwhelming feeling. I know that I know that I know that I know. And now I got to tell you, <laughs> you know, because you got to. And that's that's another thing. Well, it, well, let me let me back up. That's that's me. OK, that may not necessarily be anyone else, but that's me yeah. because I am a heralder. OK, I am a yeah. pro proclamator. I'm a heralder. In yeah. fact, one interpretation of my last name is exactly that from a bright sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, one interpretation of bright sound is someone who makes a noise, someone who is who is declaring something, a herald. You know, I am heralding the coming of whatever, you know. Yeah. And uh, so that's one interpretation of my last name is from a bright sound, which would be, you know, a herald or something that's that's telling you, hey, this is this is the way walkie in it. And so, uh, yeah. So that's one interpretation of the last name. But anyway, um, but yeah, it's, you, you can't, you, you just can't ignore it. You can't get away from it. There's no way. It, it just, I just want to say it's kind of peculiar how it was just me and Frank hanging out and, and Candace and we're having a nice guy. No one's watching. There's zero viewers. And as soon as Vaughn comes on, there's Todd. There's Will. <laughs> Yeah. There's uh Bob Bob Boo Boo, whatever his name is. There's every Boba Fett comes out. It's like Bob yeah, Bob Blue the Bob Blue. now. It's like they're just it's like waiting. <laughs> it's like almost like the demons just, like they're ready up. to pounce, man. They're ready to pounce, you know. <laughs> uh, by the way, it, it, what's so funny is that Todd, this is for you, Todd. Todd calls to me. <laughs> Oh, John, I wish she did something other than talk to Vaughn. And I was. I was painting with Yeah, with you were painting and talking to yeah. uh, Wilder. He didn't come by. He no. wasn't, he wasn't, hey, no. John, good painting. No. I, I I wish you well. He comes for Vaughn. <laughs> he comes, he, 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 the same thing he's telling me not to do. He, yeah, yeah, I know. I know it. I know it. It was funky earlier. Well, that, that's all good. Frankie's, all a good, good. Frankie's a good friend. For, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. 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 Well, then, you know, Frank, I, I hope you don't, you know, I hope you don't get a bad impression because good old King James was telling everybody we pagans are full of the devil and that we have to be killed and shit. So I don't want, I'm going to make sure you don't get a wrong impression of me because that's just not the case at all. That's just not the case. Now, are there some people that dabble in stuff like that? Yes, but I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. In fact, the vast majority of pagans are conservative, pro-life. Very nice people, very pleasant people. I mean, Hinduism is, is a pagan religion, 1.5 billion strong. And they don't mess in darkness and shit like that. At least not to my knowledge, they don't. So, yeah, you know, so they're good people, man. They, you know, but see, we get a bad rap because good old King James there for years was telling me about, oh, yeah, these guys are full of the devil and you guys got to kill them and stuff and wipe them out. And then, you know. And, it, and it's just, it, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate because that's not the case. An individual should be judged on their on their actions and their merits, not not because of some dictate from some potentate. <laughs> I'm a poet and don't know it. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> it's a Todd. He attracts the haters. Well, you know, that may actually be true. That may actually oh, you're be welcome, true. You're welcome, Gishla. I got you some viewers. Is that what you're saying, that you were watching the screen and then the stream – and then when you saw Vaughn, that you sent it to everyone that he's yeah. on? Is that what you're trying to say, Todd? Yeah, what's Are you up, saying, man? Todd, are you trying to bring people here to start I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. I was right, number 7,550. Well, well, thank you, Todd. You're, 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 Todd, you're such a hypocrite. Todd goes, why are you hanging with Vaughn? Why are you talking to Vaughn? Why don't you do something else? Well, I'm doing something else. I'm painting. Why don't you tell people I'm painting? No. He's going to bring people on. Well, thank you. Totally well, thank busted. You, totally outed, man. Totally outed. <laughs> totally outed, man. And by the way, it's not even going to my Odyssey, I might add. We're just on John's stuff. It's not even going yeah. to my Odyssey. So, 
we did a really good that. Odyssey stream earlier. Before. Dude, we had a great Odyssey. 105, 109 yeah. views, pal. 109 and views. That thing, and, and I promoted you. And, and I you promoted, promoted me. You. And, and yes, you did. And But mm -hmm. yeah, 109 views, man. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty good. For, well, for, I wasn't for, live streaming for people to watch me. I was live streaming that, that I entertain myself and make good videos yeah. about painting. Yeah. Trying Nobody to do something else. Listen. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do it's like a variety show. Well, now, now, like now listen, to, listen that, listen at that though. He tells you to do something different, and then when you do do something, nobody wants to watch you paint, John. Right. Now, well, wait a minute. You told him to do something different, and then when he does something different, then you're condescending. Okay. Well, that yeah. Right. See, that's bullshit. Anyway, that's let's bullshit. just anyway. We'll we'll forget about him and. uh We'll paint home. little happy trees. Yeah, happy little trees. happy trees. Yeah.